some rain must fall But too much is falling in my Into each heart some tears must fall But someday the sun will shine Some folks can lose the blues in their hearts But when I think of you And now the shower starts Into each life Some rain must fall But too much is falling in my Into each and every life, some rain is got to fall. But uh, too much of that stuff is falling into mine. And into each heart, some tears is got to fall. But I know that someday that sun is bound.
Greetings. Well met. Light to be with you, King's Honor friend. What can I do for you? Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another stream for you. And boy, howdy, has it been a little bit here. Um, I apologize. It's been a little bit since I've streamed. Things have just been really, really crazy for me. I feel like I'm saying this a lot recently. I like stream for a day, then I don't stream for like four days, then I like apologize for not streaming. Um, yeah, things have just been kind of crazy in the personal life here. Um, and combining that with my return to YouTube and the video editing, unfortunately, I haven't even had much time to even play this game, let alone stream the game, as you can tell by my rested XP here. Um, so yeah, please bear with me. I think I should be able to stream in the next couple of days here, hopefully. But um, yeah, thank you for joining me here today. I wanted to do a little bit more uh, solo challenge leveling where we last left our hero. We had been begun soloing SM and we had to kind of leave because we were too low level. But we have since obtained Trap Launcher Rune right here. So I think I'm gonna head back in there and maybe give her another uh, another college try. Um, update with you guys. What's up both YouTube and Twitch chat? I see both of you guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining me here today. So I'm working on uh, one of the reasons why I haven't been able to stream too much. I'm working on actually like four videos right now at once, which is probably ill-advised, but you guys, you guys know me when I, uh, you guys know me and my videos, I kind of get overboard. So we're working on one, the least time consuming one, and probably the next one you'll see on the channel is, uh, um, having to do with GDKPs in Season of Discovery. Uh, Blizzard has recently disallowed them, so I'm making a commentary video. GDKPs, what are they? Their history, their uh, effects on the game, what's going on, why is it controversial, why is everybody angry, that sort of thing. Kind of a general commentary on transaction, on a pay-to-win, uh, well, RMT, not pay-to-win, RMT and the context of MMOs. Aside from that, I'm working on another episode of my series called MMO Theory, which is um, not about WoW, but just about MMOs in general. Um, and this one is a commentary on MMO monetization, so we're going to definitely complain about microtransactions. This is going to be like a 20-30 minute video. Um, I have another one talking about, I'm going to keep the subject a surprise, but it has to do with social media. It's part of my overthinking series. Episode one is about React streamers. You may have seen that one a long time ago, so we're working on another episode of that. And also, um, this isn't me, technically, but I've been approached by somebody who um, wants to edit for me. Um, and I've been approached uh, by this for a long, long time now, and I've never really pulled the trigger because I like editing. I don't want anybody to do that part for me. That's the fun part. But um, this one, but in this, okay, so this is, I want to stream and both do YouTube, but obviously I'm one person, and it's kind of hard, and, you know, I also have a life, IRL too, so it's kind of hard to find the time sometimes, and... Um, this will be something that I wouldn't otherwise edit. It's going to be a stream highlights. Sort of like a compilation of all of our awesome, amazing streaming moments. And uh, I'm either going to upload that to Mad Season Show or Bad Season Show. So that's also in the works. So, um, But as far as like most of the stuff that you see on Mad Season Show, that'll that'll still be me. So no worries there. This is just like more streaming highlight stuff than it is like my videos, like my, my series and wow videos and whatnot. So it'll just, it'll be something that otherwise would not exist is the way that I look at it. Okay. I need SM summon for two gold. Do I have two gold? Okay. Whoa. Jigsaw second wing, the 10 euro super chat here. Well, thank you so much, Jigsaw. I appreciate that. Says he just named my pet owl after you. It's called Please Flap. You're so IRL owl or in-game owl. 
Let's just be clear here. Either way, you're awesome. Um, Good Life HS, what's up? I saw you during the intro there. Thank you so much for the Prime for four months. Appreciate that. Let me, hang on, let me, uh, once I get into the dungeon here, I'll catch up with you guys. I want to say my highs to everybody in chat here. I know you, I see all of you guys talking with me, both on YouTube and Twitch, okay? But just please understand that I am a blabbermouth. Okay, I'm not ignoring you guys. I see your messages, okay? And, uh, yeah, it's also been a little bit since I streamed, so... Give me a little bit. Let me get in dungeon first here, because it's a PvP area. Please fly up. Uh, Jig says in-game. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jigs. I uh, appreciate that support there. What's up, Runester? Panic Tank, The Natural, The Average Bros, Good Life, Once More, Walterian, uh, Resonant, Blip, Mokujin, Kyle Kashi, Doughboy. I want to say what's up to Eric, Easy, Cum Dog, uh, Best uh, Sell Sell You as well. Sorry, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that, but hello. Vetro, Pepper, Irinu, Robin. Thank you for joining me here today. Teal, Eel. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Um, we'll do a little bit of a stream here today. Okay. I don't want to go too crazy. We're going to talk about some uh, toxic feedback. We're going to talk about a little bit of everything. So, oh God, hang on. Okay, hey, I'm not ready for this. Reset. Did not mean to aggro that. Krez Frosty, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, so I'm level 33, as you can see. Slowest leveler ever, am I right? Let's go ahead and just test out this amazing new CC we got. So we can do this, right? Oh my god, that's so broken, dude. That's so effing amazing. I love it. Uh, we can also do this too, right? Look, immolation trap, boom. Oh my god. Oh, well, it resisted, but yeah, anyway. So another one there. In combat trap. No big deal. Wow. Dude, this is so broken. <laughs> it's so broken. Hunter is OP, okay? Hunter is just OP. Let's trap you again. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to reset because we totally let this one get away. And we're gonna have a bunch of mobs. Okay. It's all good. Let's just reset our Q. Here. So, um, we have some feedback with the streams. So, I'm going to get one guide here, but uh, one guy in the comments of my last stream said that my streams suck. And he was like, oh my god, you monotone piece of shit. Yeah, I used to watch everything that you posted, but these streams are horrible and they're a waste of my time and I don't like them and I don't like you anymore. You're a bad content creator and I'm not going to watch you anymore. Um, and my response to that, basically, is um, eat my ass. I run my social media channels in a pretty selfish way. So, you can either run your channels in two ways. You can do things that make your viewers happy, okay? And you can also do things that make you happy. And, uh, you know, I've been on social media for a very, very long time being a professional loser. Um, and I have watched channels where, you know, the content creator is, you know, they're really into it. They're really enjoying themselves. They're having a grand old time. And I've also watched streamers, YouTube channels that just, they're like uh, miserable. Uh, you can clearly tell that they're just, you know, they're not into whatever it is they may be doing. They've lost a passion for it. They're burnt out, but they're kind of just forcing themselves to do it. Um, and I sort of resolved myself. I never want to be... I never want to get to that point, right? Whatever I do on social media, whether it be streaming or videos, I want to, I want to make sure that I have fun. Because I think by me having fun, that is going to maximize the chances. And I, I hope you guys are entertained, uh, obviously, but I, I tend to more focus on what the monotone madness thinks is entertaining because I think it's the highest chance that you guys are going to be entertained. And, you know, keep in mind that um, 
this is coming off of a uh, you know pretty large break on the YouTube side of things with me, right? You know, there's a huge, huge hiatus here on YouTube with the uh, the monotone madness, and um, a large reason for that is burnout. I got burnt out from video editing because I did too much, so. Um, I'm sorry if you guys don't like the streams, or maybe you prefer videos, or, or whatever the case may be, but just please understand that, you know, I'm trying I'm trying to do what I feel is best for me in the, the long term, and trying to, you know, take care of myself and make sure I don't burn out, making sure that I have fun, right, and uh, I apologize if you guys don't like the streams, but... I'm trying my best. I don't know, I just, I feel like, I don't know. Um, it's sort of like a thing to where you can't really win. I feel like you're kind of set up with sometimes in social media because, um, on the other hand, I have people who prefer my streams, but they don't like my videos. So, you, you know, it's just, it's just sort of like you can't please everybody. You know what I mean? No, no matter what you do, there's going to be somebody who is displeased with what you're doing, so... Um, the only thing you can really do... This is just... I'm, this isn't just social media, this is life in general. I'm sure many of you guys can... identify with me on this, but... You, you have to please you, right? Because no matter what you do, somebody will have a problem with something that you're doing. And if you change that, then someone else will have a problem with this new thing that you're doing, so... Um... Yeah, I, uh... I, uh, I apologize. You guys don't like the streams, but um, yeah, no need to get toxic. Yeah, if you if you uh, like pizza or if you make pizza and you sell pizza, people are like, oh my god, I love pizza. That's my favorite delectable treat. Um, and then if you also in your pizza shop you start selling hoagies as well, it's like somebody like, oh my god. Why the fuck are you selling hoagies? Just stick with pizza. Now this person can very well just, you know, not buy the hoagies, or not interact with the hoagies, but... They still feel the need to, despite the fact that they don't like that content, they still feel the need to complain about it because... I don't know, I spend time making hoagies? I don't, I don't know if this is a good analogy. Wait, why am I still in this group? Why am I leader? This, they all went offline, okay. I was the leader of a summoning group. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna get teleported. Damn it, now we have to reset the instance. Oh my god. I have to redo all of this. And I only got 200 XP for that because we're like part of a raid group or something. Oh god, I'm mad. Mad. Was I getting 200 XP per kill there? Jesus. Uh, Majin Bald, thank you for the tier 1 for 4 months. Appreciate that. Now I have to completely redo this crap. Usually those summoning groups, like, boot you. So, like, yeah, it kind of caught me off guard. Oh, well. <laughs> so, yeah, um... I guess... I guess that, uh... What I'm trying to say is that... I, uh, I... No matter what I do on social media... Um... I'm gonna do what the monotone madness feels is fun. And hopefully you guys... Enjoy yourselves as well. I would like for that to happen, but at the same time, I'm the priority, okay? I'm the priority. I'm selfish streamer, man. I just think that's the best way to run channels, truthfully. Oh god, dead zone issues. Oh, come on. I can't attack this. Right here, maybe? Right here? Okay, there we go. And I'm probably going to get aggro on that. Here, you do this, done. Can't even see my character right now. The start of the dungeon is going to be a little bit Ako Tacos, as the zoomers say these days, because, yeah, there's like just no room to do anything. Here, kill. Yeah. So I see a lot of you guys echoing that, so I... Yeah, like I said, it's like a one-guy situation. I'm pretty sure for the most part, you guys... You guys want... You you agree with me. You want me to do what I like. So I see your messages, by the way. Sorry I'm not addressing you one by one, but... 
Uh, I'm glad to see that's the general sentiment from you guys. Uh, Kevin, thank you, man. Oh, I'm, hang on, I'm falling behind here. Jay Lobello, thank you for the tier one for six months. Appreciate that as always, Jay Lobello. I want to say thank you to Kevin for the hundred bits. He says, listen, I think all your avenues of social media uh, and entertainment just fine. Well, thank you. Uh, so don't change anything. Yeah, I mean, come on, I'm a, pl I'm a classic player. You think I like changes? No changes, okay? In all facets of life. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, it seems like you guys agree with me, so... Yeah, I just want to do you. Just do you. I'm going to do me. Um, Fabsy as well. Thank you for the prime. And keep in mind, too, like... Videos are being made. Um, I haven't streamed, like, in the past couple days. Three days or three or four days since I streamed. Because, well, I'm mainly busy with real life stuff. But, um... Yeah, I've been working on videos, too, so... Videos will resume, you guys. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. Uh, we're gonna aggro that hunter coming down. Probably, so let's maybe do this right now. Yeah, this, this rune is so good for solo dungeoning. It's so good. Because this only has a 5 second downtime, right? It's a 10 second stun, 5 second stun, and rank 2 I believe is uh, 15 seconds freezing trap, so... Um, here, come on, come over here, you stupid pet, come on. So I don't want to get that hunter. So it'll be 100% uptime, uh, unless there's diminishing returns on Freezing Trap, which there doesn't seem to be. That's OP. Um, GT, uh, LVR as well. You know what, you told me how to say your name, but I kind of forgot, I'm sorry. Can you remind me how to say it, GT? You told me at some point, but yeah, I've, I've forgotten. That's my bad. Um... Okay, taunt and I heal you. Thank you so much for the ten dollar super chat. Says um, do what you feel like. You'll aggro folks who 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 like your vibe and uh, then streaming slash YouTube isn't work. That's why I'm here. Yeah, I, I always viewed um, good. That's a great point. I always viewed YouTube and Twitch as more. I mean, it's it's my it's uh, my main method of supporting myself financially. So I guess technically you would say it's a job. But I never really thought of it as a job. A job is uh, more of something like, well, you can want you can want to do a job, but I think having a job is more attributed with something that you like have to do, as opposed to something like maybe you want to do. Hopefully, whatever job you guys have, you want to do it. Ideally, that would be the way to go, as you have a nice, fun, fulfilling job in your lives, but. I've always I've always looked at it as like a hobby that I'm a uh, oh god I'm lucky enough to be able to support myself financially with so it's Nate okay thank you I'll try to remember that but yeah please don't take offense to that it's just I have a poor memory um, many others will attest to that so yeah I've never uh, I guess I never really looked at it as a job more of a hobby I think that's good for um preventing burnout fabsy yeah thank you for the prime man anarchy as well thank you for the hundred bits thank you guys for the support and not not even just the the uh, monetary stuff i see all of you guys saying really nice things as well thank you i appreciate that thank you for supporting me on here and uh, yeah, don't worry, videos are coming, okay? Videos are coming. Uh, Knocked Off asks, did you see the fluorescent green Meccano Striders in the game? Yeah, somebody said that last stream. I have not seen it, <laughs> but they said that the fluorescent green Meccano Strider, which has an interesting history, it was given out um, accidentally by a GM to a player trying to restore the green Meccano Strider mount, but they, they gave him the, the wrong ID. So that person was the only one with it until they got banned for trying to sell their account. So they're actually, they've, uh, they've introduced, uh, they've reintroduced that rather into Season of Discovery, which I think is pretty cool. I think that's actually really cool. I hope they do more of that stuff. 
unfinished content. That's actually what they said in the BlizzCon, if you guys watch that. Um, they'll be introducing unfinished content into the game. They showed a screenshot of the Popper's Walk. I think they showed some high gel stuff. Tears on Crips and whatnot. Have you seen the guy uh, doing Cath and almost just one pull as a hunter? Really? I believe it because hunters actually have some pretty good AoE capability now with Trap Launcher. You can like put Explosive Shot, you'll have Volley, you have a fra Frost Trap, you have infinite mana with Viper. I totally believe it. I kind of want to do that. So all of Cath in one big pull as a hunter. Do you guys think that we could do that? That might take a lot of practice, but... Uh, I wonder if we can maybe... Well, we probably need, like, Entrapment or something. I I still don't feel confident that I can solo Loxy at this point. At the moment. Damn it. I keep uh, pulling accidentally, too, here. Heal pet. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Nope, wasn't enough. Let's see if we can finish you off. Come on. Finish him off and then just reset if we can. Oh, come on. He's going to run around the corner. Mama. Oh, Perry. Okay, good. Whoo. Oh, God. Come on. Um... How's Hunter inside in phase two so far? Asks Carlingston. Um, I tried mine and got bored, so I created a paladin. I, I like it so far. I, I'm only up to level 33, as you can see. But yeah, so far it's pretty fun. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I think they're really strong. I don't really have any complaints with them. Yeah, they're quite strong. Um, I feel like right now. Uh, if if I if I wasn't on a PvP server, um, just your average bros, I would probably be questing, honestly. But I'm like so far behind. I feel like if I were to go to Stranglethorn Vale, especially with this Blood Moon event, I'm pretty sure I would just get corpse camped 24/7. Uh, this more kind of ties into the fact that I'm uh, unwillingly on a PvP server because my friends picked a PvP server, and the the fact that I'm streaming. We've had some issues with stream sniping, so yeah, being level 33 right now at this phase, I think I would I would probably just get destroyed. If I was on a PVE server, though, yeah, I'd be doing Stranglethorn Bale right now. But um, I wouldn't even constitute this as dungeon grinding. I feel like you know, there's there's a challenge to be had with soloing it. Um, I've always soloed dungeons in this game. I I talked last time. During Wrath of the Lich King, I played a hunter, and I soloed through, actually, all of Scarlet Monastery. I like to, um, I kind of like doing solo chances. We did a little bit in this in Phase 1, too. We soloed DM, Stonks, uh, SFK, um, 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 a little bit of RFK, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, just, it's just kind of an unfortunate side effect of being on a PvP server and streaming, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I... PvP servers, I don't really have a huge problem with. I would be more likely to like them if I wasn't streaming. But, uh, yeah. Did I, I feel like our immolation trap is outranked? 
No? Well, we must train one soon. Okay, at 36 we train a new one. Ooh, 34 is going to be a good level too. Look at this crap. Serpent Sting, Explosive Disengage. Yes, please. Okay, things should get easier now that we're kind of relatively far into the dungeon. Don't have to worry about dead zone or mobs running away. Yeah, I've always liked doing solo challenges. Just challenge runs in general. Uh, those of you who watched me do a little bit of that Elden Ring goodness on Bad Season Show saw my naked retch runs. Which are still on my channel, by the way. Go to Bad Season Show on YouTube. Check out my uh, Elden Ring uh, retch runs on bosses. Flight path acquired. Well, thank you for the prime for four months. Let's see. So there's no more patrols, right? Let's just do this, this, this. I'm not sure about Loxy, but I think I want to try to see if we can get Doan. Watching my Borderlands Let's Plays. You mean my uh, my YouTube guides? I made Borderlands videos before I ever made WoW guides. Those are so old though. Oh my god, I must sound like a little like a little kid at that point. I think that was before I hit puberty. Leveling up without quests is quite hard. Well, yeah, that was another part of it. Is I did uh, so phase one capped out at twenty five, right? Um, I did all of the quests at 25 because it converted from XP to gold. So I didn't, I actually didn't have any quests <laughs> from like 25 to 30. I could start STV right now and I'd be fine. But yeah, 25 to 30, I, we, we had to dungeon grind, unfortunately, because I kind of screwed myself over intentionally for this phase. I'm, I willingly made that choice. I wanted more gold for phase one in exchange for a tougher start for phase two. Pretty good XP per hour here. This is rested. We're at 60k with rested. Um, you do get a decent bit of XP here. It's probably not as good as, you know, farming with mages or whatever, but I feel like maybe this is funner for me. It's a little bit of a challenge here. Boom. Talent point as well. Um, I think I wanted to put more points into... Well, Spirit Bond would be nice, but so would Improved Aspect of the Hawk. I feel like this doesn't really proc a whole lot. Let's do Spirit Bond. Screw it. Spirit Bond might be good. Bond. Spirit Bond. I miss the OG Borderlands. OG Borderlands was pretty revolutional. Or... Is that, that's probably not even a word. It was pretty, no, revolutionary. That's what I meant to say. It was revolutionary. That was like one of the first uh, looter shooters, I think they're called. A sh an FPS game with MMO-based loot. Borderlands. Um, yeah, I love Borderlands as well. You see the incoming buffs? I did not. Buffs for Hunter. Go on, let me know. I'm so used to uh, hunters getting nerfed. Are we actually getting buffed? That's crazy. Okay, let's just drag them all over here. God, I love trap launcher so much. This is so good, man. All right. Druid buffs. Wait, Druid buffs? Why are Druids getting buffed? I thought they are super, super OP. Or did they get nerfed? Did they get, like, over-nerfed or something? What's going on with Druid, you guys? They getting buffs? I know they, they nerfed Star Surge on my last session, which was a few days ago. Uh, what's the add-in to show spell ranks? That's called Huts Training. What's training for the add-on to show spell ranks? 
Yeah, we'll do a few hours stream here for you guys today. I don't want to go too crazy. I need to do some video editing. I'm going to do the voiceover for my GDKP video today, and I can... If, as long as I get enough time on it, I feel like I can f get the rough draft of that one complete tonight. Because that won't really be a complicated video to edit. I just have to complain about microtransactions for like 10 minutes and then we're good to go. Balance adjusted, feral buffed. Okay. Well, I mean, I got a druid. I like druid. I, I will probably eventually level it to 40. I have no idea when, but... You know what I felt like playing recently? Some random ass game? Tomb Raider. I feel like going through all of the old Tomb Raiders. The game was a big part of my childhood. I love Tomb Raider. And I kinda wanna play that again. I'm not sure if I'd do that on stream or not. Or if I would even ever have time for it. Cause I'm a boring adult now with responsibilities. Hey, what's up, Holding McGroin? Sure, I'll just, uh, I'll get that to you as well. I'll send my SSN. Make sure we're all good to go. Remastered 1 to 3. I played, um, so Tomb Raider Anniversary was a remaster of 1. Did they do a new remaster? Because if then, that's, like, perfect timing. Tomb Raider Anniversary was a remaster of one, and I loved that game. I love Tomb Raider. I love platformers. I always preferred Tomb Raider to uh, Prince of Persia. It just released? Okay. They just released a remaster, all of them, this week. You know what? I probably saw that somewhere, and I... I um, it, uh, it subliminally entered my mind. It's probably what happened. It worked. Advertising worked. Uh, is that on Steam? Hang on. Is the remaster on Steam? My uncle... Uncle Season Show is actually... So he never, like, played any video game ever. Until his, um... Uh, his... 40s. Uh, when he was babysitting me. And uh, obviously I've always been into video games. And I I uh, had my uncle play video games with me. And I had him play Tomb Raider. And he actually became addicted to Tomb Raider. And he played through all of the games. He became a gamer. He got into Tomb Raider. He got into Resident Evil. He loved all the survival horror type of games. Yeah, my brother and I tur turned my uncle into a gamer, and uh, Tomb Raider was the first one he played. He was like, wow, this is really fun. So I'll, I always have a soft spot in my heart for Tomb Raider because of that. Reminds me of Uncle Season Show. Don't buy the remake, it has a warning for offensive material. What? Uh, was it, so was that on, uh, let me check Steam, I'm, uh, is that on Steam? Tomb Raider, I'm alt tabbed right now, sorry, Tomb Raider, oh, 1 to 3 re Remastered, starring Lara Croft, oh my god, oh my god, you guys, you guys, oh my god, oh, I want to buy this and possibly maybe stream it, oh, Okay, I'm gonna just focus on the task at hand here. Okay, let's focus on W O Dubs, but that may be on the docket. Okay, there may be some Tomb Raider in our lives soon-ish. I don't know. Just there's so much stuff I want to do. Let me focus on hitting 40 first. Keep seeing people wear the Mad Season helmet this phase. The Mad Season uh, fake helmet, you mean? The real Mad Season helmet is actually the Helm of Endless Rage. You can tell by the trim, which you're probably referring to as the Raging Berserker's helmet, which has the golden trim. 
Yeah, the, the Mad Season helmet has the white trim. It's a common mistake. You look at, like, uh, Wowhead and search transmog sets, you'll see a bunch of Mad Season transmog sets. Common mistake. You see them use the Raging Berserker's helmet. That's an instant, instant, uh... Ejection into outer space. <laughs> I don't know, no. I'm not that harsh. So what are, uh, we're about like 56k XP per hour. Slowing down now because we're out of rested. Ah, uh, debating heading back and training. Maybe let's see how far we can get in this dungeon. And then once we hit a wall or we complete it, let's, uh, let's hearth train. Get a new world buff. Um, and then head back, maybe. Yeah, don't forget the bracers, you guys. Pop quiz. What are the Mad Season Bracers? Okay. You should know this by now. I've gone over it a couple times. This is on the test. What are the bracers of the Mad Season show outfit right now? El Cierno Music. Well, thank you for the tier one for six months, my main man. Oh, Alice. Alice Cierno. Sorry, I mispronounced that. Um, I also want to say thank you to Stoika Ion, Ion for the the two euro, uh, no, two pounds, sorry. Two pound super chat there. Thank you so much. Berserker, there you go. Harold got it. Berserker bracers, baby. Um, I know that uh, PETA went after Tomb Raider back in the day because, like, you're, like, murdering all of these exotic animals in Tomb Raider. At least Tomb Raider 1, you're, like, you, you know, there's a lion or a tiger or something, and you just, like, shotgun it to death. It was amazing. Yeah, PETA wasn't happy about that. Bats, bears, alligators. Yeah, you murdered all wildlife. Lara Croft isn't a very good adventurer, if you ask me. She's not very respectful of, uh, of these ancient tombs. Stealing all these artifacts. But it was fun. One of the great platformers. Um, yeah, like I said, my uncle, my uncle was heavy into it, and he would have me do all of the platforming sections for him, the tough ones. I was the pro platformer. Any any spot that required like a lot of jumping, especially like with uh, the platforms that fall, he would need my expertise. Good times. Oh, to be young again. I am young. What am I saying? I'm only level thirty-four. I'm only level thirty-four. I'm in the prime of my hunter life. Isn't Melee Hunter OP right now? That's what I heard. Um, I've said before though, my I guess my fantasy of Hunter is... Um, I don't know, I just like him as ranged. It depends on how OP Melee is. Like if Melee Hunter is like five times the amount of damage, maybe I'll switch it to, to Melee. But... Ooh, how am I going to get this here? Line of sight, that's how. I'll drag him over here. Oh, I can't. Damn it. Stun him. Get over here. Thank you. Um, but yeah, the fantasy for Hunter for me has always been ranged. If I were to play a melee, I'd just play a rogue or a warrior. That's what I always say, so I don't know. It's melee Hunter to me is... I'm, I'm glad for the people who like it and who want it. I say you guys have at it and you guys have fun, but for me, mm, I prefer ranged. Paul Noel with the uh, two pound super chat as well. It says, we've missed you. Welcome back. Well, thank you, Paul. It's good to be back. I got uh, another WoW video coming up for you here soon. I'm hoping within a week-ish, I have another video out for you guys on the channel. 
I think I should be, if I go power mode today, I should be able to finish the rough draft tonight. So I'm going to bust out the Doritos. I'm going to throw on a, a stream or something and just go ham with the video editing. Get that ready for you guys. Get the rough, get the early access up for, um, for uh, YouTube members and also Patreon members. We'll see that on the channel, hopefully within a week. Yeah, like I said, lots of videos, lots of ideas. I feel really, really inspired on the YouTube side of things. I want to make a lot of content for you guys. Um, thank you for being patient with me. Not sure if I expressed that today, but I know I haven't been the most active on YouTube. I uh, certainly apologize for that. Like I said, I've just been going through a little bit of burnout. Um little bit of burnout but I am fully back now I feel really motivated to make videos again and I'm excited honestly let's do this so I can do this bandages are actually faster than mend pet God, yeah, this trap launcher is so good. It's so useful. Oh, a sleeping bag. It says Vane. Oh, I have the sleeping bag, Vane. I just haven't used it yet. Good point. Let's... Ah, I should have used that before stream, actually. Here, let's go ahead and use the sleeping bag. And then we'll chat with chat for a little bit. Because I won't be as preoccupied and you guys can uh, ask me... Excuse me. You can ask me anything you want. Anything your heart desires. Don't let me forget to use the scroll of agility as well, I just looted. Right, meow. Alright, what's up guys? Let's talk. This takes like three minutes to get the buff, so... What are you thinking here? You got any questions for me? You want to talk about anything? Um... Mm -mm -mm. You're the first one who said my uh, name good? Hey, <laughs> usually that's not the case. Usually I'm terrible with pronunciation. Uh, uh, Bez, and here, here, there's proof right here. Bez Selju, Bez Selju says that I uh, used to play Postal 2 with your brother and he got uh, the GIMP mission. He had to replay it. Postal 2, isn't that the one that's kind of like Grand Theft Auto? Where are you from? I'm from Elwyn Forest. Favorite classic dungeon? And why is it Maradin? I I don't I like Maradin, but my favorite classic dungeon, oh gosh. Probably Blackrock Depths. It's just so huge and epic. Like it, it feels like a raid. I remember the first time well, both Sunken Temple and Blackrock Depths. I remember the first time I entered those dungeons just being utterly blown away by the, the sheer enormity of those places. So I'd, yeah, I'd say BRD, and I, I'm wondering if maybe um, they're going to do anything with that in Sod. Uh, Carolingston here over on YouTube here says, um, what do you think about the War Within? Going to try playing it. I actually don't really know too much about it. I've been kind of out of the loop with, um, with the current game in general. I've been pretty content with Classic, so... I know that they had a BlizzCon panel and stuff, but I, I haven't yet looked at the uh, current WoW BlizzCon panel. I just looked at the classic one. So I don't really have anything interesting to say about current. Uh, what do you find is an underrated key binding that people should use? Use Tilda. At least if you have big hands like myself. Get that pinky up there. Use Tilda. Hey, what up, Geo? Burnout happens, says Paul. Uh, don't stress about it, and good to see you back with us. Yeah, I try not to. Um, I feel like I'm pretty in tune with burnout today, and I try to, I try to do things to protect myself from it. Because obviously, in the long run, considering my two-year break, it's uh, in the long run, it's not good. So, yeah, I feel like what I'm doing right now, which is kind of um, in even an even spread of videos and streaming. I feel like that's going to be the best way of protecting myself from burnout. So if I don't feel like streaming, I can just make videos. If I don't feel like making videos, I can just stream. Um, saying that though, you guys should see more streams 
the reason why streams have been kind of sparse recently is just I just have been busy with real life stuff so as you can see I mean I'm only level 34 here so I, I haven't even had time to play recently so uh, hoping to remedy that soon all right monks these monks really hurt scouting for girls thank you for the prime appreciate that and for three months now it says three months been following uh the grayscale voice for years on that tube thank you scouting i appreciate that both for watching me and for the the support here on twitch thank you so much appreciate you i want to do immolation trap so this is ticking eh, 43 every three seconds it isn't bad I wonder if this like opens up like clever traps. It's so far in the tree, but I mean this isn't this this is thirty percent to immolation. What level is Bag? We're thirty-four. We are thirty-four. Is this a locked chest? It is. So maybe we should just skip this room because it's a three for. Let's do this. Grumman Gaming, well thank you so much for the, the five gifted tier one subs over here on Twitch, Grumman. Appreciate that. Your name always reminds me of Green Man Gaming, and I always have to bring up the time that they like they delivered Monster Hunter World to me like three days late. I I am never shopping at Green Man Gaming again because of that, because I'm really salty. But thank you for the support, guys. Please clap for Grumman Gaming. Oh, he resisted. Okay, I have to feign death then. Uh, okay, I'll, I can tank you for now, but see how much damage this thing does? Please don't resist. Okay, good. This is where I, um... This is where I had to stop last time. Because it was just, it was too much damage. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of kiting here. Do it like this. That Quirrell's about to die too. This thing is healing faster than I can kill it. Don't resist, please. Good. Okay, we're gonna have to reset. Damn it, those chaplains are so ridiculous. They renew heals for so much. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Let's go ahead and get him happy first off. That would probably be wise. Um, I have to interrupt the renew casts. So I have intimidation. But that's a one minute cooldown. I need to trap the monk. So I can't really use that. I have grenades, I guess, but I have to be so quick with that. I have to be really close so there's no travel time. Let's try this again. Uh, server is Crusader Strike NA for any alliance characters you guys see. When I'm on Horde, I am on um, Wild Growth. PvE server. Go melee. I don't have the runes yet, probably, to make that good. Oops, what did I just do? I wasted the water. That's what I did. Okay. What if we drag the monk really, really, really far away? Or the chaplain really far away, is what I meant to say. So he has to, like, run a lot. Just try this. Between the shield and the renew, it's a little bit rough.
It's done. Ah, didn't get it off, damn it. I was on global. You just have to pump damage like crazy. Okay, this is it. Ah, uh, he's gonna get it off again. I'm on cooldown. Oh god. I was running away in fear. But it's going into mobs. Oh no. Right, yeah, he's getting heals now. Okay, we gotta reset again. Ah. Damn it. I hate these chap lanes. Maybe we should clear that so that doesn't happen again. These stupid chaplains. They heal too much. Ah, oh, that was close. I mean, we got him running away in fear. But he had the renew on him. Mmm. We just have to stop that renew. That is the key. Let's keep trying. So I wonder if the chaplain can actually... I wonder if he can sh if she can shield the monk. It might be better to try to kill the monk. Because maybe she can only renew him. Let's do that. Let's trap the chaplain. Kill the monk. So I bet you she can't shield the monk. Yeah, see? Aha! There we got it. Don't kill the one in the dress first, just CC her. Okay. And now it should be easy peasy, because we we can uh we can now interrupt the renew with a trap. As long as we can catch it off of global. That's the ticket. That's how I'll do this from now on. It's really that shield that that's what was getting me. I'm waiting for the renew. I guarantee you she's gonna use it once I'm on global. She's just waiting for the moment. There it is. Get it. I Damn it, he still didn't get it in time. There's like a there's a slight pause with my pet's attack to where it, was, it just was perfectly timed. That's amazing. Okay, whatever. Just kill her. Ugh. Okay, no run into mobs for you. Oh, jeez, the respawns already. Okay, well, we can't run away anymore. Okay, those things are raid bosses. This is not, um... This is not XP efficient. I'd just like to go on record here, saying yes, I acknowledge this is not XP efficient. This is back in the good old days, says Derange, when there's no internet. They just sell you little manuals called Bibles. The Bible of Tomb Raider 2. Um, and, and the guide in the Ixian Temple was longer than the freaking Leviticus. Yeah, it was, uh, I had strategy guides. Um, that's what they were called here. Strategy guides for like FF7, FF8, FF9. I still have my original 7, 8, 9 strategy guides with like all of my notes and stuff attached to them. And they're like really, really worn out and raggedy. It's very nostalgic. I uh, flip through them every once in a while. Do you guys think we can solo this place? I honestly feel like the trash packs are going to be more difficult than like Doan. 
I want to try Doan before I try Houndmaster because I think Houndmaster is going to be tougher with those dog packs. Wait, what's this? This has to be a rune. This is new. Passed down by a noble lord on family, once thought to be lost in the swamps around Kairos, along with the last warrior to wield it. It's worth 13 silver on the auction house. This has to be a rune of some sort, because this was not in the original game. Interesting. Did you play the FF7 revamp? I have not. My brother and I played um, the original FF7 on the PS1 together back in the day, and we decided that we're going to play the remake together as well. But he's a normie today. And he doesn't have that much time to play video games, so we just we haven't gotten around to it yet. So I've, I've been holding off on it. Ooh, it's for priests, you say. Ooh, okay. Well, I'll hold on to that for my priest, then. Eh. Okay, double monk ain't too bad. Let's not let him run away in fear to that room, though. Ideally. There. Concussive. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful gameplay. Wait, did I ever train my, uh, my kitty cat stuff? Okay, he's all trained up. Good. Oh, my inventory's full. I wonder if I, uh, when should I start using these biscuits? Because I feel like with how much I'm playing this game, I'm going to generate a lot of rested XP naturally. So I think I'm just going to start using them now. Oh, this heals you too. These biscuits heal you? Dude, people are going to save this for like PvP tournaments. The student fodders. Oh god, we got the mages now. Great. Okay, well, let's just do it. Let's trap the one closer to the room over there. They give energy as well. Yeah, people are totally going to save that for the, uh, the dueling tournament. I did see there's a dueling tournament for this game coming up. Um, oops. Did he resist that? No, okay. I'm not sure when it is, but... Yeah, we might do that if <laughs> I could level on time, but I just, I don't know. I'm only level 34 right now, so... Yeah, no promises. I need to, like, practice and stuff, too. I have no idea what I'm doing as a hunter, by the way. I mainly uh, PvP'd as a warrior, so it's a little... A little intimidating, but... We can maybe... Give it the good old college try. See how far we get. Okay. So we got pack mania here, right? Oh, you know what? I should have grabbed... There's a quest here in Ironforge for a book that I do not have. I should have grabbed that. Okay, chaplain and monk. Well, we know how to do this pack now. We go ahead and we trap the chaplain. Oh god, that thing's patrolling. Come on, don't aggro that. Bring him in here. The, uh, the, tr the activation time on the trap is actually really good too, right? Like, it's quick. Usually, I thought there was usually like a lag time when traps can activate, but look how fast this is. It's like half a second. Oh god, don't let him run in there. It's like half a second activation time. So this with like aimed shot, oh my god. Okay, we need to hit level 40 so we can start PvPing because Hunter is going to be amazing in PvP. And I want to totally do some uh, 
Arathi Basin streams for you guys. Please try out. Very nice. Oh, there's another one. Another rune item here. Silver hand training hammer. Recovered from Thermore Isle where its owner was slain in battle against bloodthirsty orcish hordes. These are all BOE and they only sell for like 13 silver. So maybe I should actually delete them because my inventory is full. Uh Let's kill the monk first, because we can line of sight this guy. Let's do this. I like the little streak. You see the streak of the frost thing? When you move your mouse cursor? Look at that crap. You can, like, make a penis. See that? Sort of? Sort of penis? Okay, never mind. It's immature. Uh, hang on. Maybe we can grab this patrol now and just get it out of the way, right? I think it'll it'll come right in front of us here. Is that for a rune? I imagine hollow. I don't actually know for sure. But I imagine that's what that stuff is for. Yeah, let's try to get some levels today. I'm so far behind. Uh, what I want to do on my hunter... Pretty much... Pretty much the same the same deal with um, phase one. I want to do Nomragon on reset, and I want a PvP. I want a battleground in Nomragon. I think that'll be fun, and uh, we'll probably work on leveling alts and stuff as well. I was thinking maybe Priest would be our first alt. Although, like I said, phase 2 leveling is going to be kind of tricky. It's going to be a little bit tricky. God, the monk still so much damage. It is crazy. No mana burn. Okay, whew. Stun. I will be a uh, marksmanship, by the way, for PvP, if you guys were curious. Oh, uh, whoops, I was not paying attention. Yeah, it's gonna get me. Yeah, I'll be marksmanship. Melee hunter time. It is kind of cool. People say melee hunter, but maybe I could do like a melee hunter hybrid type of deal where we're mostly ranged, but we can hold our, our own with melee because we did actually do a little bit of that um, in phase one with flanking strike. So I kind of like that, that uh, gameplay style. People think like once they're in melee range with a the hunter, they're like, all right, you're screwed now. It's like, nope, you're trapped in here with me. Yeah, look at that 340 white crit at level 34. That's crazy. You're cast at me. Good job. So we line of sight. We line of sight. We line of sight and slow and kill. We line of sight. Uh, is your 44,000 uh, XP per hour with rested XP? Uh, sort of half and half. When I had full rested, it was a, I capped out at about 60k. I did a little bit of clearing without rest. I used a student fodder to get me more. With rested XP, I think as a hunter at least, you can get 60k. Um, Persian, Persian one. 
Which is, isn't bad. It's not too shabby. Oh, two chaplains. Oh, God. Let's do... Wait, hang on. Is that a triple? Isn't this one a triple? Here, I'm going to tell my kitty cat to stay. So we don't have an accident. Yeah, it's a triple. Oh, God. Let's do the double first, then. Um, hmm. What's the best way to handle this? We're going to have to use cooldowns. Let's trap you, right? Well, let's put this down. Let's trap... Wait, what's the lower level? Okay, this one's lower level, so therefore we should trap this one and kill this one because it's going to be faster. Let's start off with a multi-shot. Uh, screwed it up. Got to reset. We'll start off with a steady shot, multi shot, and then we'll trap. But I just I have to do it correctly. Full mana. Triple might be tough. I don't. We're gonna have to like just pop cooldowns and go crazy with it. Okay. So, steady shot. Uh, he didn't do it. Damn it, you got a shield off. Ah, damn it, I broke it with multi shot. Mistake, kill. Nice. Okay, good. Woo. He had the renew on him, so if I didn't kill him, kill her right there, that might have been actually really difficult. But we got it. Alright. Very nice. Ah, uh, yeah, student fodder. You get that from the quest for the sleeping bag. The cozy sleeping bag. Um, you can look that up on Wowhead, and I'm sure they have a full guide for it. You get the student fodder, the rested XP items, in the midst of that quest, so... Highly recommend doing that. Sleeping bag itself gives you experience, 3%. Which is very nice. Alright, triple. I would say, okay, do we have a chaplain is the question, because I would say maybe we could just nuke the diviner. Oh, let's grab this guy, so he doesn't become a problem later. We'll nuke the diviner, right, because he's going to be squishy, and then maybe we could just feign death reset, and then it'll be a two-pack, because they don't respawn. Was Kill Command an OG vanilla? Nope, that's a rune for Sod. Kill Command was first introduced in Burning Crusade, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you got the Switch version of the Tomb Raider trilogy? Nice. Seems to work. Also the vanilla cheats. Very nice. Yeah, I want to check that out. Okay, it's two Diviners. Okay, good. Yeah, this is doable. What we are going to do is we are going to... Maybe I can kill this whole pack in one go. I'm going to trap the monk. I'm going to line us... We're going to kill one of the diviners. And I'm going to line of sight the other diviner. All while killing the other one and trapping the monk. Soloing dungeon seems fun, says St. Barn. It is fun. Um... Can you do uh, this with Dead Minds 2? Uh, what class are you? I'm sure it's class dependent. Hunter is, I feel, the most soloable. If you're ranged, you can solo Dead Minds, I feel, as long as you know the kiting spot. Okay. You guys ready for this? 35, 34. So we're going to kill this one. I'm going to. Trap the monk. I'm gonna open with steady. Oh, the, I'm using an auto shot whenever I steady. It's kind of deking me out. Cast at me. Thank you. Come 
when it cast at me. Nice. Now we kill you. Line of sight. Beautiful. Viper for mana. Kite. Into a trap. I'll show you guys how to hunt her. Just vein death. Queen clip. Taunt, taunt, taunt. Thank you. Got him. You see how powerful Hunter can be with traps in combat? Not too shabby, huh? Is this worth doing XP-wise? I'm sure you can do faster, but it's worth doing fun-wise, if you ask me. This is really fun for me. I, like I said, I've always loved soloing dungeons. I think it's super, super, super fun. What do we got here? Diviner, Chaplain. Let's let's keep trapping the chaplains. Yeah, let's pull them in here. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're gonna kill the chaplain first. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Because we can just do this. I can just line of sight the diviner. Actually, this might be a better strategy, because watch. She's pretty much crowd controlled if I just keep doing that. And the pet resist is really good at this point. Once you hit level 30, you can get um, more resistances and they, they resist a lot. So any caster that I run into, I'm kind of at an advantage, I feel. Okay, pretty good pace here. Like 46k XP per hour. Let's keep it up. Save intimidation for when they're about to run. Instead of concussing. Is Kath soloable as a hunter? Um, as long as you can kite, I feel like it will probably be soloable. I believe there's a few kiting spots in Kath, so yeah, I would say so. We're gonna find out. Um, we're gonna do armory next, though, after library. Well, uh, hey, what level are the mobs in armory? We might have to do library a couple times. Before we can do armory. Chaplain Diviner. Let's, uh... Let's line aside the Diviner and kill the Chaplain. But let's do... Let's do it like this. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, we can just do this. It's fine. I'm getting used to the, uh, the trigger aura. Of traps, clearly. There we go. Do this, this. I can't stop that renew. Can't stop addicted to the shindig. Okay, you're gonna 
run in a moment. Concuss. Okay. Um, Beef Supreme, thank you, dude, for the prime. Sounds like a good Torin name right there. Armory's 32 to 42. What's the highest? Like, what are the, um... What level are the highest trash mobs in Armory? We're gonna get the key here from Doan here in a moment. Right now we can't even zone into Armory. We gotta kill Doan. We probably don't even need to kill him. We just need to loot his box. Diviner, Chaplin. Let's kill Charlie Chaplin. Uh, Alright. Yeah, it triggers so fast. It's crazy. Line of sight. Too short. Okay. Just those chaplains that are annoying, really. Everything else isn't bad. Oh, Craft Dig, I'm sorry. I uh, did not see this. Thank you for the tier one for four months. He says, Greetings. Well met. Light be with you. Thank you, Craft Dig. I also want to say thank you to Erroneous. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thing is with uh, Armory, says Crafting, is that the Myrmidons are hang absolute dong. Yeah, the Myrmid, especially when they enrage, those Myrmidons are like crazy. Okay, two monks and a diviner. Oh, God. Two chaplains. No, okay, two monks and a chaplain. Two chaplains would be rough. Okay, another triple pack. Well, maybe we can do a double pack first. I think we can do a double pack. Um. Let's try a double pack. Makes sense, right? Keep the damage down. Really, if I... As long as I'm trapping as soon as it's up, I wonder if I can always just stay ahead of it. You know what I mean? As long as I'm not popping a freezing trap before they trigger it, I wonder if I can have 100% uptime. Let's try that. Can a paladin solo this? Uh, maybe prot? I'm not sure, actually. It's hard to say because, you know, there's so many new runes and stuff. Oops, I did not mean to do that. There's so many new runes. It really is hard to say. Oh, you killed my... You killed my kitty cat. How dare you. Um, I'm sure, I, I would bet you that mages can solo it. Hunter, I think, is possible. We're getting pretty far here. Warrior, eh. Rogue, eh. Druid, I think, stands a pretty high chance. Alright, Scroll of Agility. Buff-wise, I'm just using Scroll of Agility, and I have a world buff here, if you guys are curious. 
That time will get better with higher ranks. Yeah, true. Well, let's see, actually. What's the next freezing? Oh, nice. It's in this phase. Yeah, so 15 seconds. So it's 100% uptime in this phase. Okay, well... Double Monk is still a little scary. We'll have to keep one trapped and we'll just line of sight the Diviner. Let's, um... They're both 36. Oh wow, he reached me from there, huh? I'm just gonna tank him for a sec. Alright, kill. Keep trapping him and kill him now. Okay. One more. Just heal up a little bit. Polkian, thank you, man. We have one more pack and then boss time, you guys. Man of the flesh as well, thank you. I'll need it. He says, good luck with SM. I'll need it. Uh, Arya the Hunter says, playing Hunter as well. Keep freaking out because you hear the bow sound, but you're not attacking anything. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, don't aggro anything, you guys. Oh, oh no, uh-oh. Don't aggro. <laughs> Careful. You don't wanna you don't wanna pull humanoids. Huh. Huh. Oh, he's orange. Okay. Triple. Two monks and a chaplain. This is gonna be harder than the previous pack. Um So we should trap the chaplain, right? Maybe we should just go nuke city. I tank a monk for as long as I can. Then I feign it onto my kitty cat and we continuously trap the chaplain. We try to kill the lowest level monk, 35, 36. We kill the 35 monk. Uh, let's try it. Oh, he resisted. Okay, reset. He resisted. Can't have that. That's not gonna work. Five point three K we have to burn through. Five point three K. Okay. I don't know about this, Mr. Krabs. Okay. So I'm gonna tank one of them. Now I'm going to feign death because I'm almost dead. Trap that one. I just have to kill this fast. Oh god. 
Uh, that's not good. Might have to reset. Yeah, we gotta reset. I got aggro on this one somehow. Oh, you know what it might be? Ah, poop. That might be spirit bond aggro. I think... Oh, God. I think spirit bond does um, generate threat, unfortunately. Oh, no. Feign death one second. Okay, there we go. No resist, luckily. Yeah, we have a... Uh, we have patrols behind us, too. Maybe I should clear that. I think Spirit Bond, that's the one poopy thing with it. I mean, it's a nice talent, but it generates threat, so... Um, I'm going to have to do some pet micromanagement here, which will be tough. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. How are we going to do this? Two monks and a chaplain. Is it Viper? Maybe Viper's been doing it. Meow, meow, meow. Well, thank you for the the Prime for six months. Appreciate it. See, the, the Chaplain is just going to take too long. He heals himself. We have to kill the lowest level Monk first. Rapid Fire is almost up. Let's heal ourselves. Can they be skipped? Uh, I might be able to just pull down. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe with like an immolation trap. Sneak an immolation trap and just run in this room. But I kind of want to see if I can do it. So I'm going to get two growls on. I'm going to get a growl on you. And a growl on you. Okay. Pop cooldowns. Tank this one for a bit. Trap you. Immolation. We almost got it. Don't renew him. Oh, he shielded him. Okay, we got him. We got him. Shit. Uh, shit. Shit. Uh, kitty cat's dead. Feign death is on cooldown. Oh god. Run. We have a we have a patrol up here too, by the way, that we did not clear. That we probably should have. Feign death is 13 second cooldown. Oh, we're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not so much. Please don't resist. Please. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we killed a monk, so now this will be easy. I'm going to wait till the other guy runs past. Oof. Okay, Ooh, that was close. Good lord. This is some tough stuff right now. Where is he? I know he's over there. He cannot fool me. Uh, did he run past when I wasn't looking? Okay, maybe he just teleported because he was too far away. Alright. Mission accomplished. Oh, you can jump and evade on the candle lamps? Oh, really? These ones? I did not know that. Well, we'll rely on feign death for now. If I fail here, though, if I die, it's pretty much run over because, as you can see, respawns have started behind me. Let's get more rested XP. Yeah, it's pretty much over if I die here, you guys. We have to go quick because they're respawning fast. Agility, world buff. All right, so let's just kill the uh, chaplain, right? No, we've trapped the chaplain. That's right. Drag him over my all. And Don, I feel like I should be okay with. Either I can tank him by line of sighting. Oh, beautiful resist. Okay, I'll just tank him for now, I guess. 
put aspect of the monkey on. Damn it. Uh, this just got annoying. I think we should be okay. I think I can tank him in line of sight, or I can just keep my pet up through heals. Having Aspect of the Viper is so huge for Hunter. Because you pretty much have infinite mana. It's so broken. So like, I can just do this all day. I can just mend pet all day, because I'll regenerate more mana than I'm spending. You can just sort of outlive them. So good. I want to. I want to try to solo like all the dungeons I can. So uh, the Houndmaster. I don't know if that's possible though, because it's three dogs and the Houndmaster. I would have to trap one, fear one, and the dogs respawn after he resets, so it's not like you can just <laughs> zerg a dog down one at a time and then just, you know, keep doing that. You have to do it all in one go, so. Um, I think I would have to kill while kiting around a frost trap. So if he is not slowable, then I have no idea what to do. I bet you heavy stone sells for a lot, yeah, okay. All right, boss time. Let's see if we can do it. How's swing timer work? Why is it red in the middle? Um, hunters have a little bit, I'm not sure what you call it, a grace period to where they can move before they line up their shots, so to speak. If you move while you're in the white, you won't lose any, uh, any time on shooting. It's just a... A, a tool for kiting so you can shoot move a little bit shoot move a little bit shoot and you'll do the same amount of auto shot damage as you were if you were standing completely still okay let's just have the pet tank and try you know let's see if it's easy mode you will not defile these mysteries. could be easy mode here Stun? Is he stunnable? He's not stunnable. But he's not dealing a lot of damage. Oh, he polys. Oh, shit. Uh, I forgot about that. I can line of sight that. That's no problem. I just have to be prepared for it. Yeah, I totally forgot this guy's like a mage and does mage things. I can just, yeah, I can LOS that. Yeah, this is easy. Not this time. Not this time. Burn in righteous fire. God, we deal so much damage. It's so good. I wonder how much XP is going to give with rested solo. Let's see. Yeah, silence the kitty cat. Ashbringer? Freezing band or whatever it is. I think that was BC actually. Dagger drop. Intellect spirit. Damage and healing. Uh, we need to vendor. Isn't, uh, yeah, the vendor price of this is abnormally low. Do you guys know why? Botting. It's all the SM loot. Uh, the boss drops from SM. They have like a, an, an abnormally low um, vendor price because people used to bot it back in the day, so that's why this only vendors for 8 silver. Still better than that, though. As you can see, gray leathers vendor for more than green cloth. Not too bad. 
that's library solo aside from Loxy. Which I might have to come back to. He might be too tough right now. Not too shabby. Um, I wonder if we're ready for armory. Let's get the key. Jacek, thank you for the prime. NX Malfez as well. Thank you for the prime. Oh, we got 3566. Whoa, nice. That's more than a BFD boss. Yeah, look at that. 3566 XP. Okay. Um, we actually earned some gold from that, too. Uh, I wonder what we should do now. Because, every, yeah, everything's respawning here. Maybe we should hearth. Oh, we need to train. Yeah, I said we're going to finish it and then train. Let's hearth. We have some new upgrades. We have an explosive shot, serpent sting, disengage. Let's go ahead and upgrade our talents and train. Let's clear our inventory, repair, consumes, maybe get a new world buff. Um, and then I think I'll catch a summon back and either we can try armory or I can try to do the hound master so we can say that it's like fully done. But that's a great, we soloed Graveyard on our last stream, and now we have half of Library soloed. I think I might want to try Houndmaster, so we'll just, uh, we'll reset here. Do a freshie. We'll try to get Houndmaster. A Tempest Darkness, thank you for the Prime. Uh, the add-on that tells unlearned skills is called Huts Training. What's training? We can look at the auction house too, maybe for upgrades. I'm like near Bis for phase one, so I doubt there's really much. Probably bracers, there'd be in some upgrades. All of this stuff though, I'm probably pretty good. Are we rank four? No, not yet. We didn't PvP enough last week. We'll fix that, don't you worry. We're gonna get a lot of PvP on this character. Um, I'll be right back while I'm flying over you guys. I'm gonna get a drink and stuff.
All right. What are you guys thinking? Well, evil, evil subscribed at tier one with for three months in advance. Thank you, evil. Incidentally, I would like to announce I'm taking a, a few month break from streaming. You guys. <laughs> Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> I'm kidding, Evil. Thank you, man. Thank you for the support. Um, <clears throat> Densetsu here over on YouTube asks, Do you feel like servers are overcrowded? Um, or is the layering uh, done well? I feel like overcrowded areas actually deter from the immersion. Uh, at least to me, is it weird? Uh, layering has some issues. I've been layered mid-combat before like I, I was in the middle of the ashenville pvp battle in phase one and we're winning and it like layers me to a losing layer that was the, the big that happened on stream that was the biggest bullcrap moment ever so layering definitely isn't perfect um i guess i think there's something to be said that the smaller the community there is the more of maybe kind of a tight-knit feel there is the more recognizable people are um, on the other hand, seeing like a really, really populated major city, I feel is also good because it makes the game feel really, really alive. Um, I would, I would say that it's, it's a complicated question, Densetsu, and there's a complicated answer to it. I think that there's a lot of negative effects and positive effects with like layering and huge clusters of people. Um... And really, I would say it's mainly up to preference. I guess I haven't really minded it personally. It hasn't really been a big deterrence for me personally for Sod. But, um, yeah, not everybody's going to agree with that. Ooh, new meant pet at 36. Wow, that's huge, actually. We got to get that crap. <clears throat> okay, Serpent Sting. Oh, I have a macro for Serpent Sting, so. I have a macro that will always use the max rank Serpent Sting, and if it can't, it'll use rank 1. And I do this in case I'm Oom, and I'm trying to get, you know, keep a rogue out of stealth. Okay, disengage. Don't really use this too much, now that I, especially now that I have Feign Death, but... We'll put on there an Explosive Trap. Oh... Explosive trap, you guys. Oh my god. It's amazing. AoE. Um, where should we put it, though? Six? Is that... Wait, invalid target. Why is this giving me invalid target? Invalid target? What are you talking about? <clears throat> so I can do, like... Freezing trap. What? Is this, uh, maybe, let me unequip and re-equip my armor. Maybe this is, like, bugging out with the rune. Okay, there we go. I had to re-equip. And now it works. Alright. Um, six, though. I don't know if I like that keybind. <clears throat> Let's see if there's any pet training. Hey, Adam Elliot. Thank you, man. Over on YouTube here, he says, um, Big fan thought I would say hi. Love your videos. Thank you, Adam. I got a new one cooking right now. Hopefully uh, on the channel within a week or so. Thank you for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate that. I hope you enjoy my streams as well. We do stream uh, relatively often here. Obviously, streams are more kind of casual, laid back, not edited, of course, uh, not scripted, of course. Ooh, nice, we got, hang on, let's chrono boon this. <clears throat> um, don't we have level, aren't, isn't the next tier of arrows at 35? I'm gonna hit 35 soon, maybe we should buy a bunch of those instead. Let's, like, vendor and stuff. Okay, we have elixirs of agility. We got scroll. We're gonna head back and do more SM dungeon soloing. 
Oh, it's 40 for the next tier of arrows. Okay. Well, I'll just buy more 25s then. Game Watcher, what's up? He says, uh, did you ever have a hunter in early years of Vanilla WoW named Brawl? No, not named Brawl. I did have a... A hunter was one of my earlier characters. I never got him to 60 in Vanilla. But I did have a, I did have a little dwarf hunter in Vanilla WoW. I think I made got him to like mid-20s or something before I, uh, I fell in love with the Rouge. Um, <clears throat> Ali Arani says that um, he or she farmed 20,000 honor yesterday and today. Uh, how do people get rank 14? Yeah, it's it's not the healthiest of grinds. I'll just I'll just put it to you that way. Do not recommend it. Um, the sod version is easier though, so I will be doing that. But yeah, the uh, the original rank 14 grind is something that I I'm pretty resolved that I'll never do again. Ooh, this we got some good uh, auction stuff here. Actually. I just vendor the stuff that's kind of like close to auction price. But this goes for two gold. This goes for one gold 60. So I'll definitely do that. This goes for 20 silver. And we'll make bandages and vendor those. Silk right now is going for under the price of heavy silk bandages. If you see silk for under, I think it's four silver each per silk cloth. You can um, earn money by buying it and flipping it into heavy silk bandages. So don't sell silk cloth for under a stack. For a stack, you don't want to send, sell it for under, what, 80 silver? You're throwing money away. Let's scan. Arrows from Alderman are 35, and they're cheap on the auction house. On every server, or on your server, Precision Air. Oh, really? Uh, we'll search that after this is finished scanning. Thank you, Aurorus, for the tip. Fabrizio as well, thank you. I appreciate the kind words there. Hoping to have an audiobook series for you one day. That actually is brought up quite a lot, Arya. I, I said before I'd be down to do, like, the Warcraft audiobooks, but I have to get Blizzard's permission for that. But I would totally do that. If uh, they would be cool with it. The phone lines are open. Ever played RuneScape? Asks Cena Cena. I have not, unfortunately. I missed out on RuneScape. I was straight from uh, SWG to WoW. So I didn't do RuneScape, DAOC, EverQuest. Although I know uh, how legendary those games are. Precision Arrow. Um, am I misspelling this? Let's look at projectile arrow. Level 35. Feathered arrow I know is from the sleeping bag quest. And boy are they expensive. Sharp arrow. Jagged arrow. That's the new one. Feathered. You might, maybe you mean a bullet. He's <clears throat> like precision slugs or something. I don't know. Will you read my Thrall and Jaina fanfiction? Could we read, like, erotic fanfiction? And have that as, like, an audiobook series on YouTube? That might be amazing, actually. That'd be great content. Uh, sell this stuff. Okay. I want to vendor a little bit. We're making back our money on the summons, which is definitely nice. I will be level 40 one of these days, you guys, I swear to God. Okay. Uh... Hey, what up, Franz? Nice to be back, man. Thank you. Thank you for the support there. Appreciate you. Okay, I, th I think we're ready, right? Oh, repair. We gotta repair. Not that we're gonna die, but... We should repair. Arrows were loaded up on... Well, we can buy more, just in our regular bags. Let's buy extra arrows and we can drop off these lockboxes in the bank. Level 36 we have Arcane Shot, with it, which is... Um, do you guys, are you guys using Arcane Shot? I feel like Arcane Shot is a waste of a button press. 
Immolation trap. That's nice. And yeah, men pet by okay, we definitely have to train 36. I'll be the judge of that. I I only use um <clears throat> excuse me. I only use like rank one arcane shot to like keep people in combat, keep warriors in combat from charging if they don't have warbringer, keep rogues out of stealth, uh, kill totems. Um, but I got it right here in case I do want to use it. I just feel like it's a mana hog. Tag stealer button, yeah, true. Good for getting good for getting tags. Train for yourself and your pet. Yep, we did pet training. Nothing new at 36. This actually shows pet abilities too. Or 34, I meant to say. 36 here we get another rank of stamina and armor. Um, although saying that, I can probably do another claw if I find it out in the wild, but... I do not feel like doing that right now. <clears throat> we send this to my impromptu bank alt, which is my druid. Okay, where, oh, hang on, where do you turn in these greater boxes? Because it's not the same NPC. What's going on with these things? The waylaid supplies, I can't turn this into the, the lady over there. He doesn't take it. Okay, let's uh, get a summon. And let's try to see if we can get kill Loxy, but I don't know. It's going to be troublesome. It's the same lady? Oh, you have to complete them. Oh, you have to complete these ones, huh? You can't turn them in raw. 16 greater healing potions, though. That's going to be so expensive. Yeah, they're 40 silver each. No way. Screw that. No way. That's crazy. I'm sure there's cheaper ones. But yeah, this is not cheap. I don't want to spend all my money. Ooh, this is 1.5 gold. Oh god. They're going down. His name is... Oh, I thought it says it's some girl. I thought it was some grifting, so I was... I'm kind of scared. Okay. Let's pay the right person, too. <clears throat> You can vendor the boxes though. Yeah, it goes for like um, for like twenty silver or something. So I guess at least you get something out of it. Okay, I'm gonna leave group this time. I imagine these guys they find these random corners because hoarder ganking them. That's why we're not in SM. Did they fix the glitch? Those summoning portals that warlocks have, like, people could use them even when they're out of party. Did they fix that? That was pretty funny. When that was going on. So this is slowed by 60%. It exists for one minute. Uh, we're gonna try it, but I don't know if this is gonna be possible. Oh, is it intended? Really? Maybe that's why they're hiding out, so people can't hijack their portal. It's intended, wow. That's surprising. How do how do warlocks feel about that? I bet warlocks are pretty upset about that. Okay, scroll of agility, world buff. Let's get to work. So we killed a Doan already, if you're just getting in stream here. I want to see if I can kill Loxy now, too. So we have a new Serpent Sting. That's our power increase here. Doing a little bit more damage. 
Okay, kill that one. Thank you. We're gonna hit 35 here soon, right? 35? Yes, another talent point. We'll probably put it into Spirit Mend. Or Spirit Bond, I'm sorry. Um, just keep rolling. Let's try to get good here. Let's reset our XP per hour here. So we can get an idea of how fast we're going. I'm so far behind. Everybody's been 40 since like day one. Oh no, come on. Kill. Good. She was about to heal. <clears throat> so the global cooldown in vanilla never gets reduced by attack speed, right? That's always one second. Is that correct? I should probably know that. feel a bit silly asking, but I don't actually know off the top of my head. It doesn't... It seems like maybe... It's always one second, even when I pop rapid fire, I feel like it's one second. Uh, being used to warlock summoning portals, being outside of groups is a godsend, says MJ. Yeah, I'll probably hijack one when I see it. Oh, it's 1.5. Oh, now I really feel weird. <clears throat> yeah, with uh it's 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 kind of funny. You don't really notice it. I feel that much with uh with vanilla because like the rotations were so simple, but now I feel like I'm noticing it more in in sod because um you know, we ha we have so many more buttons to press. You know what I mean? Pretty good damage here. Like, already... I can, like, get him to 60%. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I can't trap him. I'll just tank him for a little bit. Raptor Strike. Now you tank him here. Perfect. Of course, I'm going to be oom um more with this new Serpent Sting. It's definitely noticing that. Hey, what's up, Pokimane Fart ASMR? How's it going? Portals killed taxi services? They're probably still making good money. Although I did see, uh, I, just, I just got one for 1.5 gold when a few days ago, it seemed like every single SM summon was like... Three gold, so maybe, and yeah, maybe they are going cheaper in price. I wonder if that's why they Blizzard has made them shared. If they don't like taxi services. All right, whales, you have a good night, man. Thank you for stopping by today. My favorite Twitch username. Ah, uh, my favorite Twitch username. That's a tough one. There's there's one called Allison Chains, like ten or something. And that's my favorite band, so I guess I like that one. That's a pretty cool one. Um. I'd have to think about that one. There have been some that I liked. There's somebody named Ed Ed and Eddie yesterday. Or not yesterday, the last stream. I love Ed Ed and Eddie. That's part of my childhood. Core childhood memories were unlocked with that one. Die. Did you guys know that hunter pets get 1% bigger? 
with each level they get. You'll notice uh, a hunter could have the same pet trained at level 60 and level 10. The level 60 will be 60% 60 bigger. I guess 59% bigger, technically. Shit, I just aggroed that. Here, you attack that. We trap you. Dude, trap launcher feels so nice. I can't get over that. It feels so good. Favorite WoW name? Uh... I probably, uh, they're pretty, they're pretty cliche, but I like the Oprah Wind Fury. Um, Oprah Wind Fury is pretty nice. I have a shaman called the Shockmaster, which is a reference to wrestling. I like my names the most. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Barry Manilow, that's a good one. I feel fader there. Come on, why'd you stop shooting? Weird. Hey, what's up, Pine Grover? I am doing well. Favorite uh, content creator for all of Classic 1 to 60. Went through your whole catalog. Well, thank you. We got some more coming up here, Pine Grove. I'm back at it, as you can tell. Thank you, uh, thank you for watching thus far. I certainly appreciate that. In fact, right after stream here, I'm gonna worry, or worry, I'm gonna work on one for you guys. I bet you that gives a mana too. I haven't used it when I wasn't at full mana yet, I don't think. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll test that next time. Okay, so I want to clear this entire courtyard. As you can see, 70,000 XP per hour with rested by soloing. Not bad, but I want to clear this entire courtyard because I think maybe the only way I can do this is to frost trap kite. Have my pet tank one at a time and we frost trap kite. It depends if Loxy is slowable, which I don't actually know if he is. Loxy hits very hard. He's a dual wielder. He pumps, so... Um, yeah, neither me nor my pet can tank him. We'll just die. If we try it. Switch back. Got 42 minutes on our well-rested here. Our sleeping bag buff. Fresh world buff. We're good to go. Um... Let's drag them all over here, so I don't want them to run away and fear into other mobs. Hunters looking good, real good. Yeah, they, they're fun. If you guys are looking for suggestions, I really, really like Hunter. I like a lot of the classes, actually. I feel like a lot of the classes in SOD are really fun. It's, it's kind of hard to pick just uh, a few of them, in fact. I've been having fun with it. Then these stupid banners get in my way and it, it screws up my traps. Egg rolls or spring roll? Um, no preference, but that reminds me I, of a, uh, I have a friend who says aggro, and when he says it, it sounds like egg roll. So he'll say, I have egg roll. He'll be like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, you have aggro? These people mispronouncing things. <sighs> Ridiculous. You guys played Dragonflight recently? What uh, What's the max level bags in Classic right now? Anybody got any good daggers? Anybody lagging right now? Did Melee Hunter and Gnomer Gun today? It was awesome mixing in some shots and ads while cutting and slowing. Yeah, Melee Weaving can be pretty fun. 
Especially if you have that Wind Fury. I think I'll just say that I'm a melee hunter solely so I can get Wind Fury for weaving. <laughs> I can't wait to PvP. Especially since we have AD now. Get into the basin, baby. But you see what I mean? So as long as I... There's a five second lag time between them um, running to my trap and popping it, I can have 100% uptime on freezing trap. So I slow. Right? As I'm three, I was two seconds off there. You guys get what I'm saying though, right? I mean, it's irrelevant because once you get 40, you get the next rank of Freezing Trap, which is 15 seconds, so then it's 100% up, up time. And it seems like there's no diminishing returns at all. Which is pretty nuts. So that means, like, as a hunter, you can, like, you know, Freezing Trap, line up an aimed shot, multi-shot, Concuss, whatever, just don't dot them, right? And then once they reach you, you just freezing trap again, and then do another aimed shot combo. Oh my god. Uh, what is, what is, uh, I forget, what is freezing trap? Is that a stun? So any PvP trinket that breaks stuns should break freezing trap, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. And you can frost trap below them. Ooh. True, actually. You can Freezing Trap and Frost Trap, huh? How, how, what's the difficulty level of Nomer? Obviously, I haven't done Nomer again yet. Is it a, is it a toughie? Aim Shot's a pretty odd name for a move if you think about it. Yeah, I mean, like, shouldn't every shot be aimed? And I, like, miss every aimed shot, I swear to God. I think I feel like aim shot has a higher miss chance than other shots in the game. Nomer's not tough. Fairly easy. Would you guys say it's easier than BFD? Ding, by the way. Is Hunter your main? Yep, my Hunter's my main. It's my highest level right now. Embarrassingly enough, because I just dinged 35. I haven't had much time to play lately. Very easy apart from Thermaplug, which requires like 10 wipes to get the hang of it. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. I, um... I felt like BFD was a little easy. I feel like maybe it would have benefited if more bosses were around the Kelris level in BFD. Um, I'm wondering what they're going to be doing to the level 60 raid, though. Like MC Blackwing learn stuff though, because uh, at the rate we're going with all of these runes, like I mean the the vanilla rating scene is kind of easy already, right? Maybe aside from Nax, I don't classify Nax as easy. It's simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Um, especially if you're running it without world buffs, the way it was intended. <clears throat> But, like, with these runes, they're gonna have to do something with these endgame raids, or, like, it's just, it's gonna be as easy as a, a stock age run. Ragnaros is gonna last, like, 20 seconds. He'll be like me in bed. Alright. So my plan is to, like, maybe kite around this area. So let's just finish these things. Maybe they'll restrict it to 20 man. You know, some people have said that, but I don't know. I feel like... Okay, feel free to threaten to murder me and my entire family for this take, but I feel like 40 man raids, as cumbersome as they are, are kind of like a big part of Vanilla's identity. Because remember, um, it was BC is when they started reducing and BC was 25 mans. Meaning that 40 man rating was something that was completely unique with vanilla World of Warcraft, so... You know, Sada has changed in a lot of ways, and the whole point is experimentation, I get it, but... At what point is, is it too far away from vanilla's identity, you know what I mean? 
I think, I guess, I guess if you ask me personally, I feel like 40 man raiding should stay because it's a big part of the identity. I think that's getting too far away, maybe. It's not like a huge thing, like I wouldn't quit if they were to do 20 man raids. It's not that big of a deal to me, but I guess that's what I would prefer. Um, that's going to be like some something that's just up to the individual person. That might be uh, worthy of a video though, actually. I was thinking of maybe making something like the evolution of raiding in WoW. Might be an interesting video. Because it has changed a lot. Remember, so obviously vanilla, 40 man difficulty. Or 40 man size, one difficulty setting. BC, 10 and 25, one difficulty setting. Wrath, 10 and 25, two difficulty settings. And you also have like hard mo modes and uh, old war and stuff. Um, and you can argue that achievements are a form of optional hard mode for, you know, cosmetic rewards. And then uh, Cataclysm, same thing, right? 10, 25, uh, two difficulties until the final patch. Then you have LFR added, so three difficulties. Mists, they added Mythic difficulty, so it's four difficulties now. And was it also uh, Pandaria's when they added flex rating? Where like the, the difficulty of the bosses would adjust depending on your size of the raid. And Draenor, it stayed the same. Legion, it stayed the same, but Legion also introduced Mythic Plus, which is like an alternate form of endgame with a smaller size. And then BFA and Shadowlands. Um, and then I'd like Dragonflight, I have no idea, so I'd kind of fall be. I'd have to do a lot of research for that part. Okay, well. <sighs> let's drag everything out here. I don't know if this is possible, you guys. What I'm going to do is multi shot. And just like try to deal as much damage as possible. This is the one I'm going to try to kill first. This might be possible. Let's just keep it up. Kill this one next. I have to heal. Which is going to be tough. Shit. Damn it, my pet died. Okay. Oh, I know my pet's dead, you stupid piece of crap. I gotta go to my spell book and get revived pet. Oh god. This is possible. It's just a little scuffed right now because I have to like manually do this. I'm dazed. Okay. Follow pet. He's not stunnable, if you're wondering. I believe he's not freezing trappable. 
He is slowable, however. Okay, reset. Okay, I can do this. Uh, I just have to do it much cleaner. I wonder if he is freezing trappable. Here, let's test it. I can totally do this. But the issue is, as you'll see, he respawns all of his dogs. So it has to be... Um, it has to be in one go. I want to see if he's freezing trappable. If he is, this is much easier. No, see, you can't freezing trap him. Okay, so we'll just have to kite in circles. Um, unfortunately, he runs through the walls. These aren't like true fences. I think he does, all of them. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we tried that last time, and he just kind of trucks right through it. You ever play Shadow Priest? Uh, I will be playing Shadow Priest in this phase. Absolutely. Alright, let's make my pet super happy. And let me put Revive Pet like right here so I don't have to go in my spell book in case it happens again. Okay. Um, let's try this again. We can increase the area of slow because popping a new one... Okay, that's good. Popping a new one doesn't uh, get rid of the old ones. Oh, baby. Oh my god, that's actually huge. Okay, so now let me uh, just do a little bit of healing. Do this next one. This is our kill target. Okay. Okay, follow, follow, follow. Okay. Let's make this easier by doing this. Oh god. Okay. See how hard he hits though? It's crazy. This guy is a pumper. Oh no! Okay. Okay. Oh god. Okay. I just need enough health on my guy to where... Or my kitty cat. Oh god, he's gonna go past that. Okay. Oh, uh, this is bad. Because he's not... Okay. All right. All right. Beautiful gameplay. Jesus. Maybe this spot isn't the best to have him. Oh, 
Oh god. It's over. Let's put on Cheetah. Okay, Kitty Cat's dead, but he's dead as well. Okay. Ah! Okay, okay. Whew. Who was that girl screaming? What the hell was that? Did you guys hear that? That was strange. Okay, we'll just have to line up two separate um, freezing traps and then kite them around that. So we'll do this, right? We'll do one here. I'm going to... Oh, I can't bandage myself, actually. Okay. Uh, Viper we need. Oh god. Let's go this way. Oh my god. Get away from me. I feel like he's getting faster. Okay, go. Kill phase. Come on, Quirrell. I have to heal you. Oh, don't die. Okay, we gotta do a little bit of healing. How am I interrupted? Come on. There you go. Whew. This will be the way to do it. Let's just stick out of the middle and just cut him here. Let's turn off Growl and send my kitty cat at him. Library soloed. I already got Doan, if you guys are wondering. Oh, we got the dog whistle. Nice. Nice. Wow. Um, that was incredibly smooth. <laughs> There's probably like a very measured and controlled way of doing that. I kind of just ran around like a hidden, like a chicken with my head cut off, rather. Uh, not too bad, though. Cygnus, thank you for the tier one for seven months. Not too shabby. Okay. So that's that. So we did Doan already, okay? So that's all of Graveyard, soloed. That's all of Library, soloed. Uh, let's see how... Armory is looking, huh? Let's see what we got going here. Wait, this is is this armory or cath? Oh, 38s. Oh no. Uh I don't think this I don't think this is doable. Until they're at least yellow, right? Was this armory or cath? I forget. The left the facing the portals to the left. The the left locked door. This is Kath. Well, Kath is going to be higher than Armory, so let's check out Armory. See if maybe this is doable.
36. Looks like the beginning of armory is doable. Let's see. I know that armory has Myrmidons, and Myrmidons are what really scare me. Oh, I gotta turn Growl on again. Yeah, Myrmidon, uh, Myrmidons are what really scare me. So, let's start it though. Oh, you gifted 10 subs earlier? Oh, I'm so sorry, Shinny. Dude, Shinny, thank you, man. Ah, oh, that must have been during my, um... That must have been during that kiting there. And thank you for the 10 AED as well, Shinny. Yeah, sorry about that. I feel terrible about that. Thank you, Shinny. Gifting 10 memberships over here on, on YouTube. Wait, Mighty Raptor, what happened? Sorry about that. You got bopped by Nightbot, Raptor. You know what? I turned off the emote spam protection on Nightbot, but he it still does it for some reason. Nightbot has become sentient over on YouTube chat. I apologize if you guys get bopped. I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, thank you, Shinny. Appreciate that. And you got your plushie. Or you got my plushie, rather. Thank you. Glad you like it. Guys, we're going to be doing another run of the plushie. It looks like in July. Which is a little bit far away, I know. Um, but I also have a new design I'm working on that uh, you guys might like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that a surprise and tease you for now. Or we might do a new plushie here. Maybe. No promises. I'm still kind of bending some ears and and thinking of stuff, but yeah, there could be another one. Uh, patron asks, what's your favorite four classes inside? Oh, gosh. That's a tough one. I, so, Hunter is my favorite, which is why I'm leveling them right now. Oh, what's up, Othi, by the way? I just saw you in here. Um, Hunter's my favorite. I would say I really, really like Priest as well. Priest with, like, Penance and stuff is really fun. I think Warrior's really fun. Um... I think Paladin's also pretty cool. Paladins have changed so much in Sod with, you know, the Captain America shield and the Crusader Strike and stuff, the new seals and whatnot. Yeah, I'd say Hunter, Priest, Warrior, Paladin, I guess. Those are my favorites. Hey, what's up, Gringan? How's it going, man? Your plushie also arrived, says Falroth. He sits next to your Master Chief. Nice. My, uh, my original Xbox gamer tag was Master Chief something with some numbers. Um, and everybody always called me Master Chef, and it triggered me. It triggered 11-year-old Mad Season Show, or however, the whole, however old I was when Xbox Live came out. Yeah, they called me Master Chef. It's like, it's not Master Chef, it's Master Chief from Halo. I'm a Halo gamer. <laughs> you think I'm on your Patreon? So you when you got it early, push you to make it if you call. Yep, I remember you. I think you're uh, Shinny44 on Patreon, are you not? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the support, man. I really, truly, truly appreciate that. Not only between Patreon, but YouTube here as well, and the plush. And just, just chatting, too. Remember, just watching is always enough, you guys. I appreciate everybody here. Just don't play Horde. Oh, Shaman. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, I like Shaman as well. Um, and I do have two Horde characters. I got uh, a Warlock and a Shaman. I will be eventually leveling my Shaman. But yeah, I am mainly alliance based. For sure. Okay, let's kill that one. Oh, did we get a patrol? I see something swinging over there. Yeah, we got a patrol or something. Whoops. Oh, we got two patrols. Okay. Well, this is going to be a reset. 
Okay, clearly I do not know Armory. Let's just let my... Well, let's run out and in so we don't have to revive our pet. King's honor, friend. Greetings. Well met. Okay, so this patrol, let's knock you out first. Oh, there's another patrol there. Uh, we'll see how far we can get in armory. I don't, it might not be possible yet though, because if there's Myrmidons in here, especially orange Myrmidons, that's bad, I'm going. You play retail at all, asks Matus. Nah, I haven't played retail since early Shadowlands, is when I threw in the towel. Uh, I don't really have any plans on coming back to retail. I'm even kind of struggling keeping up with Classic right now. If only I could clone myself. I hope that the plushie come back. Yeah, it will, Othi. The plan is right now for the Lil Mads to be July, and uh, the new one would be earlier than that. Um, but yeah, more details on that soon. I got lots of plans here. Oh god, my kitty's gonna die. Keep him up for as long as possible. We'll just have to kite this one in the downtime. Yeah, these shoulders are very tanky. Which makes sense considering they're using shields, but they take a long time. Uh, I think I can use another rested XP thing here soon. I'll probably do that. Grenade Shark, thank you. Appreciate the tier one there for six months. Gonna die to the Myrmidons? Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. The Myrmidons in Armory will probably be tougher than like Dawn in Library. Fully expecting to get bodied by the Myrmidons. Those are group wipers. What's the best expansion and why? asks Feels Andrew. Uh, my favorite expansion is, I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's my favorite, is Wrath. The reason for that, I really like the story of Wrath. I think Arthas' story is cool. I liked Northrend. I liked the raids. Uldor is one of my favorite raids of all time. ICC was also cool, and obviously Nax. It was nice to like finish Nax, because we never finished Nax in Vanilla WoW. So it was nice to actually like see the whole raid. Um, I liked how the classes worked. I played a few different classes during Wrath. It just, I felt like the class balance was fun. The classes just felt fun to play. I thought the dungeons were cool. I really liked um, the Pit of Saron was cool. Uh, I also liked Drakthoron Keep. It's one of my favorites. What was the one? Uh, Pinnacle. Utgard Pinnacle and Utgard Keep. Those are also really cool. Oh, Nexus. I like the Nexus as well. Uh, I like the PvP. Wrath PvP was fun, aside from Restoration Druids being completely overpowered. And, like, obviously you had, like, Death Knights there were, like, really broken for the majority of it. Um... And, uh, I guess 10-man raiding as well I also liked. I, uh, so my friends group at that point, my core friends group, were, like, around 10 people. So we had some good times just doing, like, 10-man raids back in the day. And then that, that size kind of shrunk to 5-ish by the time <laughs> Legion came out. So that's why, I like, another, similarly, I liked Legion because Mythic Pluses came out. So that's, like, another, you know, challenge, form of challenging content that is for smaller groups. And I really enjoyed that. I'm not sure how it holds up in the modern era. I did not play through Wrath Classic. I skipped that one. I was on my big break from the game. 
I imagine I probably would not have liked it because it had the level boosts, and you guys know me. Or, uh, WoW token and level boost is what I meant to say. Um, American as well. Thank you for watching my videos over the years, man. I appreciate that. What's up, Anthony? Nice to see you in here. No, I won't be playing Cataclysm. I, I, I saw somebody ask that in chat. No, no Cataclysm for me. Good luck to you guys if you're checking it out, but nah. I didn't like Cataclysm when it came back in 2010, so I, I wouldn't like a recreation in the modern era. I think that, I've said before, I feel like the launch of Cataclysm Classic might be might be fun just to get kind of caught up in the launch madness, but no, I'm pretty happy with Sod, so I don't imagine myself venturing outside of it. I would just wish that I'd be playing like Sod the whole time if I was playing Cataclysm. Uh, Mighty says that they don't like they brought back Nax for Wrath. It could have been a different raid completely. I didn't mind it, personally. Uh, to each their own, but... For me, I... It was sort of like an unfinished point of business. Because my guild in Vanilla... So few people saw Vanilla Nax back in the day. A lot of people didn't even step foot into the raid. Because it was, it was getting kind of close to BC is when it was released. But even, you know, even then, obviously Nax was like really, really hard in Vanilla WoW. Uh, my guild, we cleared all of the spider wing. We got Resuvius, Gothic, Patchwork. Uh, I'm blanking on names here, so that's A-Bomb. That's A-Bomb, Death Knight, Spider. Plague was the other one, wasn't it? Oh, we got, uh, we got uh, Noth the Plague Bringer, and I believe we did not get Hygen. So we, we got like maybe 30-ish percent of Nexramus cleared. So for me, it was just kind of fun in Wrath to actually see the raid and sort of uh, close that chapter, even though it wasn't original Nax. I guess I truly closed that chapter in the 2019 re-release when uh, obviously we re-released Classic and I got a chance to do it then. has so much damage. When you, when you get rapid fire going, boy, that, I tell you what, that damage really piles on. This chest is locked, right? Yeah. Geo says Saffron was fun as a healer. Saffron was rough. We, we had a, quite a few wipes on Saff, as I remember, in 2019 re-release. It was fun, but... Yeah, that was a pretty intense fight. All that frost resist gear. Crit have like 10% crit. <laughs> With world buffs. Deal so little damage. It's not it's like that's how the Using frost resist gear on Saffron is with world buffs is equivalent to like having normal gear without world buffs. And that's how the raids were meant to be experienced. Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it was yeah, Seth was kind of difficult. How far do you think they'll take classics, says Johan Dave? Um, I feel like if they, they're doing Cataclysm, they'll definitely do Mists. Beyond Mists, though, I'm not sure, because as you know... <gasps> excuse me. After Mists... Oh, this does give mana. After Mists came Draenor. And I feel like Draenor is probably more unpopular than Cataclysm. I would say it really just depends on the player base by the time they reach Mists. I'm sure they're going to be playing it by ear. Don't they send out, like, a survey? Every every time, like... Like, when BC was ending, they sent out... When Vanilla was ending, they sent out a survey for BC. When BC's ending, they sent out a survey for Wrath. 
and wrath for classic or for cataclysm. I'm sure near the end of Mist they'll survey people and say, hey, do you want Draenor, bro? Do you want to open this Pandora's box? And based off that, they'll make a decision. It's up in the air. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I'm pretty much done with the classic line. Unless something crazy happens. A lot of people like Mop, so yeah, I think they'll definitely do Mop. They're doing Cataclysm. And uh, I've said this before, I feel like, okay, Warlords of Draenor Classic, and you guys are going to be laughing, but I feel like it is a legitimate opportunity to redeem Draenor because Draenor was poo-poo because they um they cut so much content from Draenor um there's so much left on the cutting room floor Draenor sorry I'm talking really slowly here I'm having trouble concentrating they cut so much content from Draenor. That's one of the main reasons why that and Garrison's as well. That's why I was kind of poo-poo. Let's kill the Conjurer. Uh, we're going to join a group here too. Geo and uh, my friends Geo and Disu are going to run some Cathedral. So I'm actually going to join them. Take a break from the solo leveling here. Run some Cath. They're going to invite me when they're ready. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. I'm not sure why I'm replying to you in text, Geo, because you're obviously on stream. And I also put an extra O in good, so it looks like I said, sounds good. Okay. Kill this one, trap this one. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I multi-shotted by accident. Um, let me get aggro on this. Here, there we go. They separated. That's what I was looking for. Us. Please kill him. Okay, kill this. And I'll stun you. Pretty good XP per hour. And it's just fun. Like I said, it's just fun. I love doing stuff like this. Like soloing Houndmaster was pretty intense, but it was pretty fun. Can I, uh, so how much, actually, I'm sure immolation is more, right? So it's 215 over 15 seconds. This is what? Oh, this is, this is actually more. Total. It's 100 to 130, then 150 over 20 seconds. As long as they're within the trap. So for single target right now, because immolation is so far behind, I should actually be using explosive. Uh, unless I'm trapping something or CCing something, of course, then that's obviously a bad idea. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh god, we got the stupid protectors. Dude, these things heal in bubble. They're annoying pallies. Ooh, let's grab this, though. So, in this case, like this, right? Wait, where's the, uh... Oh, is this just a, a dot? They don't need to remain within the area? Is that how it works in vanilla? Hmm. Um, Denatural asks, do you think Blizzard will do TBC sod if vanilla is successful? If you ask me, Natural, I think that, and this might be hopium, copium, whatever, I think that Sod has the potential to um, 
turn into classic plus. So I don't think... Oh, nice resist. That's amazing. I, I personally do not think that they'll go to TBC. Um... Okay, no, it is an area. You just can't see the area. I wonder if it's my graphics. I wonder if I need to turn my graphics up or something. Here, stun him. Good. And they only heal themselves, right? They're like selfish paladins. They only heal themselves even if their friends are about to die. And they're at like full health. Beautiful gameplay. I'm going to forego. So he's, she's gonna bubble, right? Hang on, I'll, I'll finish my thought in a moment. I'm just trying to concentrate here. Wait, do they not bubble? I guess maybe they don't bubble. Oh, I'm out of bandages. We should make some. Um, I personally think that they are going to go to Classic Plus because um, so there is an interview the, develop the developers were asked what is the fate of the characters of Season of Discovery after it ends is it going to be just like Season of Mastery where they're dumped into Classic Era and the developers said that they have quote like some paraphrasing here something special for Season of Discovery characters they teased it and um, I showed this in my recent sod review, but combine that with the fact that they are recruiting classic developers. If you go to their job postings, they're looking for classic devs. The classic team is growing. I think that it has potential to turn into a classic plus with like new level 60 raids added, like the um, a Scarlet Monastery raid or something. Or maybe, I don't know, like maybe maybe you'll go from 60 to 70, but it will it, it would remain within Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. They could make Hyjal a level 60 to 70 leveling zone with new talents added um, up here, right, which eventually became Ghostlands and Eversong. That could be a 60 to 70 leveling zone. You could have a new raid in Hyjal. You know what I mean? So like there's a lot of potential. That's what I think is possible. That's what I would hope would happen. Uh, you also have like zones here. Well, there's one here in Eastern Kingdoms, right? Yeah, this one right here, where my mouse is. That's an, an that's a zone that they could flesh out. It would require a lot of development resources, but hey, they're recruiting classic developers, so there's that. Oh no, a three for. How do we handle a threefer? So obviously the protectors are going to be annoying, so we should just kill the, the guardsmen. I wonder if this is another Loxy situation where we should like just kite the other ones. Well, let's, let's trap and we'll tank one because they don't really deal a lot of damage. Let's do all of this up here though. I'll just tank this one. Oh, he resisted. Beautiful. Okay, I guess I'll tank both of these. Okay, I can't use Steady Shot. Um, let's kite them. Let's try to kite them while my kitty cat tanks, because we might have to just do this. Especially if they heal, these ones actually might not be too bad to kite. So take this one, and I'll trap this one now. Ah, resist! Do they have, like, frost resist aura or something? What the hell? Oh, come on. I need to heal my pet. Damn it. 
Okay. Reset. Ooh. Whoa. We just split the pack. What the hell? We just split the pack by doing that. How did we do that? Oh, this is amazing. We just found new tech. We split the pack, so... Um... What just happened here? Hang on. They were both heading back. Let's see if she comes back. I had feigned death. They were both resetting. However, this guy was lagging behind. I had cancelled my feign death a little bit early and re-aggroed him because he was within range. However, his girlfriend was not within range, so she ran back while he stayed behind. We just split the pack. We can use this to our advantage. So what we can do is like... Trap one, right? Trap one, freeze them in place. Um, drag the other two away. Feign death, then cancel feign death. So the one that's far away and trapped will reset. And the two that are close to us will remain with an aggro. We should try that. These things take a long time to kill, my god. We have new soloing tech. You actually can... S well, actually, I'm not sure if you're able to do that in dungeons. You, if you pull with a bomb, you can split packs fairly easily, actually. But I wouldn't... I bet you that doesn't work with dungeons because stuff isn't supposed to ever run away in fear in dungeons. Are these, yeah, these protectors are like miserable to kill. Okay. I want to test this. So this, this will just be a single protector here, but let's see if we can do this on command. Let's try it with this one, this two pack. And I need to make bandages. You have ascended past the Doritos fingers to a level of high skill. That's right. New tech. Multi shot only when the bar is white or else it's a DPS loss. Really? I actually didn't know that if that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Because then because multi shot is technically a cast because it's um it's a 0.5 second cast, right? In, in vanilla. Alright, let's take this one out. True. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not, uh... I'm not much of a min-maxer. In this game. I kind of, I guess I would min-max PvP. But for PvE, I'm, I'm pretty casual. Honestly. I don't even like getting world buffs. So you only want to multi-shot when it's white. That's true. So watch when it's red. I think it delayed my auto shot. Explosive costs a lot of mana. Trap launcher looks really fun. Can't wait to get that on your hunter. Yeah, it's it's a game changer, honestly, the trap launcher. Not even just for CC, but like for damage. Being able to throw an immolation or an explosive is pretty huge. Okay, so we're gonna try this, you guys. I'm gonna leave my pet back here so it's it doesn't uh, screw me up. So what I I'm, I'm gonna try to split this pack. I'm gonna wait until he's out of the freezing trap. I don't know if this changes it or not. Hey! <laughs> See? Look at that. See, that's how you do it. 
Look at that. Can you tell I have a computer science background? Algorithms, problem solving, analyses. Analyze what happened and hypothesize how to exploit it as much as humanly possible. I never uh, went into the world of computer science, but I do have a degree in computer science. I found out that I was good at it, and uh, I found out that I was I was good at it, but I didn't like doing it, so I never pursued it. I fell into the world of video editing. Wow, that's amazing, actually. That will make things much easier. So that means any pack is a one pack. You realize how crazy that is? Any pack is a one pack. Well, I wonder if we can split a three into a one. What we would have to do is freeze one, concuss the other, right? To create a big gap. Freeze one, concuss the other, and then do the, uh, the feign death trick to get the other one to stick. Interesting. I feel like I can solo armory then. Can you explain what happened? I missed it. So feign, if you feign death, it resets enemies who are far away enough. However, if, however, if you get up in time, you'll still proximity aggro enemies who are evading back. Um, I'll show you here with this two pack. So I'm going to, I'm going to freezing trap this protector. Actually, let's test to see if maybe just feigning death resets the freezing trap. Maybe we don't even... Oh. He resisted, so obviously that's not going to work. Here, give me a moment here. I need to get feign death up again. Um, so we freezing trap one, we'll aggro the other, we'll bring him over here, and then feign death and try to aggro him. But I'll do it while the freezing trap is active to see if... If it needs to dissipate before we can pop back up, you know what I mean? You yeah, risk you to burn your feign death. Yeah, they can always resist and stuff. That's true. That's absolutely true. I have to wait for this thing to go away too. We bring him over now. So it's still active. Uh, he resisted. So let's do this. Here, hang on. Speak of the devil. This might not work now because my pet's like aggroing everything. Let's try again. I have to dismiss my pet now. Oh shit, respawns. Oh god. Okay, let's just re- this is all fucked up. Yeah, they're respawning already. Yeah, that was all just screwed up from the beginning. Oh, my group is ready. Uh, I just want to show this off real quick. We're going to do Kath here. In a group, so this won't be soloing anymore. But I just want to, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me dismiss my pet. Come on. So let's see if feign death dissipates this. It does. See? Yeah, see that crap? So he stays there now. You just have to proximity aggro him before he runs back. Okay, one sec, Geo. I gotta... Let me pop coolies and kill this ASAP.
Yeah, that's gonna be huge. Does, has this been... Like, discovered elsewhere? Am I the first person to discover this? Have you guys seen this tech before? Alright, sweet. Alright, Kath. Thank you, guys. Have you guys seen this tech before, or am I the first? I discovered it totally on accident. Looks unintentional, maybe. Have you tried Melee Hunter yet? Not yet. I hear it's really, really good, though. Hunters have been doing it forever. Oh, really? I guess I'm not new to the party. Let me turn off Growl. Wait, what's the, what the hell is that? What's that weapon? What is this? Bloodlight Avenger's Blade. Oh, this is uh, the Stranglethorn Veil, Stranglethorn Veil thing. How the hell do you have a, a purple weapon? I was gonna say. Oh my god, this is like a unique model. Wow, I'm so far behind in this game. It's crazy. I am so far behind. Uh, if I go in that cuddle puddle, I'm gonna aggro, I feel. Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. You guys handle that, I'm sleeping. That's crazy. Purple two-hander. STV items are easy to get, says Barlog. That reminds me of Street Fighter, your name, Barlog. Is that what that's a reference to? Uh, in Street Fighter, they had a little bit of voice acting. Street Fighter 2 on the SNES. So Balrog, the, bo the boxer, but the announcer mispronounced it. And he would say, Barlog wins. Barlog. Mmm, cuddle puddle. Is this working for me? This takes a long time. Need more berry white. Okay, there you go. 1%. <laughs> They're super easy to get. This slush show just takes some time. And do not do it solo. It's much slower. <laughs> yeah, we need to get a five man going. Oh, it's misspelling a Balrog for Lord of the Rings. Ah, oh, gotcha. I will remind you guys, I have not yet seen the third Lord of the Rings movie. Feel free to hate me. I have not yet seen it. Uh, one sec, I gotta... I'm just getting a buff right now, you guys, if you're wondering. We have to sleep in sleeping bag for a little while. I gotta reply to a text real quick. Okay. Two stacks. Why can't my, uh, I feel like my kitty cat should also be able to join up and get, like, more XP. Pets get XP, right? You get all the STV items in a day, says Slash Pie. Oh, okay. Well, let's make that a point when we, um, when we, uh, Hit 40. Wait a second. So the sleeping bag is a rested spot. Does this mean that... 
if you log out during this this cuddle puddle, will you generate rested XP? Like as normally as you would if you were in an inn, or does that like stop once the sleeping bag disappears? Is this rested XP logout anywhere in the world? In which case, like if I'm in trouble, let's say I'm getting ganked, right? I preemptively put down I preemptively put down a sleeping bag, right? Feign death, log out. <laughs> right? Feign death, log out. Alright, see you later. Mages can teleport to players in sleeping bags. Wow. Yeah, actually that was a, a, a scroll, right? You can teleport to anybody in a rested area. Wow. That's incredible. That's so broken. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's we'll put down a, a defensive sleeping bag. Oh, it despawns when you log out. Ah, okay, so you can only do that once every three hours. I gotcha. That's amazing, though. Okay, let's actually uh, deal damage and stuff. Um. Probably after this run. Well, I don't know. Let's hang on. Let's see our. Uh... I should consider logging off here soon so I can do some video stuff, you guys. I gotta get the next video going for ya. I should also switch runes to dungeons party spec. So I need like serpent spread. All that jazz. Want to try Huntress' as malware, baby? Yeah, you should. Hunters are super fun. Highly recommend them. I love Hunter. Um, I need to do Serpent Spread on my legs. What else do I want here? Explosive Shot on my hands. Oops. Let's get some AoE going. Also slow them for the team in case they need to kite. As somebody said earlier, hunters like they did all of Kath in one pull. Which is kinda nuts. I wanna maybe ch see that video and try that myself. That sounds fun. I wanna do that. I'm sure they, um, so they did the mage thing, right? So they went over here to this corner. They went over here to this corner, right? And they put a trap down over here. I know how the mage kite works. And they do this, right? They jump up and down doing this. Throwing out explosives, throwing out, uh, like trap, explosive trap, explosive shot. And just doing this over and over. They probably have entrapment, or would that actually mess it up, maybe? Oh, we have a talent point we never spent. My god. How fast are you leveling so far? I'm only level 35. Do you mean, like, solo dungeon XP? It's not super fast. It was, like, 30 to 40k XP per hour without rested. Uh, it's more of just like a challenge thing, just to, just for the funsies. Yeah, I'll always, I guess I'll just always put down like a frost trap on everything. That's amazing. I feel like maybe Trap Launcher might be nerfed. Because it, it really is such a game changer. It's so good. I feel like very useful as a hunter right now. So I'm sure Blizzard will nerf it. Because hunters are not allowed to have fun. That's only for mages. Only mages can have fun.
Uh, th yeah, this is definitely way better XP. 57k without rested, running with a, a full man group. With some pretty good AoE. Pally's with her cruc their, uh, whatchamacallit, Divine Storm. Feels some pretty decent AoE. They've been dunked on by a Shadow Priest yet? Actually, yeah. Last stream, which was a few days ago, we got Shadow Word Death to non-crit for like 600 damage. Maybe it was more, maybe it was like 900 damage. I forget. I, it was a lot, whatever it was. It was a non-crit and it just like destroyed us. Shadow Priest is what I will be leveling next, I think. I'm gonna PvP on her. I'm sure um, people are boosting too. Our mages boosting through uh, SM at this point. Oh, well, I guess mages and hunters. Uh, should I wait out here? I wonder. Yeah. Yeah, it feels so useful. This is crazy. Hunters are very, very fun in party with Trap Launcher. Oops, did not mean to do that. They are quite fun. To an explosive shot, explosive trap. And frost trap. It's pretty good. All oh, these guys are red to me. Really some pretty decent damage too, even at level 35. And it looks like uh, Explosive Trap has like a 5 second, right? Yeah, 20 second uptime with 15 second cooldown, so I don't need to use that on cooldown. Stoned Monkey Project Productions, thank you for the tier 1 for 2 months. Yeah, we're going to have to do uh, some experimentation on this hunter, I think, you guys. I think it could be pretty fun. It could be pretty fun. Oops. Yeah, I like Sod. Somebody asked earlier, do you like Sod? Sod is is pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think it's pretty dece. Uh, main complaint, it, as you guys know, if you saw my um, my review video, is bots. That's all. I mean, that's always an issue with Blizzard games these days. It I feel. Wait, isn't it? I saw something like uh, Blizzard are hiring AI. For GMs now, people are starting to recognize AI replies. I suppose that's why they let go of, of so many employees. They replaced them with AI. That's pretty sad. Oh, Grengen, thank you, man, for the five gifted subs. Wow. Appreciate that support there. Guys, please clap for Grengen. Right now, please clap. Please clap. Do you think it'll make original classic stale? Asks Malware Baby. I think there'll always be a, a yearning for original classic WoW. When people want to get back to basics, you always got era and stuff. I think there'll always be a market for that. Uh, there definitely are people who dislike all the changes with Sod. Um, now, would it siphon the player base? Uh, I think it would more. Siphon the re the uh, the Blizzard WoW player base. 
while probably the private server player base, because there's constant fresh going around, they'll they'll probably they won't have as many players siphoned from sod as as a uh, Blizzard WoW is what I would say. No, I think there'll always be a, a yearning for vanilla vanilla. I think it's pretty timeless. But for me, it's it's kind of nice to um, have vanilla with a little bit of spice added to it. I think it's just the right amount of spice for me. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, from what I can tell, the GM responses in in uh, Modern WoW are just like, they tell you to look it up on WoWhead. Have you guys seen that? They started recruiting from Baron's chat. It's true. They started recruiting their customer service team from Baron's chat. And uh, whenever somebody's having difficulty, they're just like, Oh yeah, bro, look it up on WoWhead. So, I don't know, maybe the AI would actually do better in some cases, from what I can see. Yeah, Blizzard, um, I said this in my video, but Blizzard... They used to be known for their customer service. They, they had, like, great GMs. I think that I feel like their GMs used to actually play the game, so you know they knew it like the back of their penis. So they were very, very good at helping players. They un immediately they understand a player's issue because of that. They were great at supporting. But over time, you know, to cut costs and everything, it's just sort of degraded. That started happening. I feel ever since the Activision merger, one of the uh, many ways it degraded in quality. Yeah, here that's like the latest controversy. AI GMs in World of Warcraft. Yeah, GM meant game master as in master of the game. Yeah, true, Disu, true. They were, they were masters of the game. Oh no, Geo. I'm sorry, could not get the trap out in time. Uh, is this a run? Yep, this is a run. This is a run. This is a run. I'll try to cover your escape. There we go. Look at that hero play for uh, Siphus the Pally here. Run, 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 run. I kind of want to try um, the kite spot. Right? Oh, it's probably screwed now. Okay, let's just run. I want to try the kite spot to see if that's doable. What aspect of the pack screw over your teammate seems like a fun thing to do. Yeah, you can't, as far as I remember, you cannot click off aspect of the pack. Um, and it'll daze your teammates whenever they get hit. That used to, that used to actually be an issue with my raids in vanilla. Is that uh, a hunter would accidentally, unknowingly leave pack on. And like the entire raid would be dazed and would be saying on TeamSpeak, turn pack off. Hunter, whoever you are, turn check your aspect, turn pack off. And sometimes it would take like 10 minutes before one of them realized what the hell was going on. We had to like actually stop raids. Everybody had to stop what they were doing and then we had to like go by each hunter one by one and make sure that they they were in the proper aspect. Yeah, that was the uh, the skill level of vanilla players back in the day. It was amazing. Here I'll put um I'll put a trap down preemptively this time. Sorry, I totally could have saved you there, but I was I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Yeah, we gotta get an STB, apparently. 
get those purples. What's the uh, hunter? The hunter what, purple. What's the what's the ranged weapon? Is it any good? I miss how bad everyone was in the, in vanilla. Says Rob. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, I I do in a way, and I don't in a way. It's fun to think back to like the more innocent times, right? The simpler days before the era of world buffs and parsing and min maxing and stuff. Well, I mean, people did min max back in the day. Don't get me wrong. It's just that uh, everybody sucked at it, right? People al have always tried their best. They've always tried to get the maximum return for their efforts because that's just human nature. It's just the, only, the thing is that people just have gotten better at it. There were there was nobody in the generally in the raiding scene back in 04 to 07 people weren't like all right let's intentionally be bad because that's more fun no people were sweaty back then they just sucked trust me i feel like that's a big misconception with vanilla people look at like vanilla wow is like oh this is the era before people were like super sweaty no they were sweaty back then they were, they were just not very good at the game um yeah. Or right, was that everything? Okay. Boss time. Gonna try melee hunter? Uh, maybe Nenharm. We'll see. They must be right now I just want to level. But we'll see what's in store for us. Let's see if this guy is slowable. He is not. Good to know for future tech. Because so I do want to solo this place at 40, probably. That's when I'll have to wait for it. Arise, my champion. At your side, my lady. My lady. Tips Fedora. Mograine totally uses Reddit. Amulet, this is what they were going for. Need, no. <laughs> nice, Grant's uh, Disu? Is that for Disu we're farming for? Grats? Big Grats? The leggings. Hunters can use mail at 40, however, this is poo poo, so I will not. Ooh. New NPC. What's this? Paladin rune? What's this? This is a new NPC. Anus. He's a former paladin of the Silver Hand. They hate us because they ain't us. Look, he's healing him. Maybe he's doing a pally rune. You can heal him. You have to lay on handsome or something. Uh, Zelda Scott, thank you for the prime, man. Oh, sheath of light rune for pallies. Gotcha. Nice. Well, alrighty, you guys. Um, I am going to go edit a video. Geodisu, thank you for uh, letting me take along for this one. I certainly appreciate that. We'll be back next stream. I think I want to try to solo armory. So be there or be square. Maybe tomorrow we'll do that. But yeah, right now I want to... I'm going to actually probably get some food and then I'm going to work on a video for you guys. So let me go ahead and hearth out of here.
Um, thank you for watching me play video games. I appreciate it. Hope you guys had a fun time. I did as usual. Sorry these streams aren't super long. Like I said, I've just been really, really busy with the, the personal life here and also trying to balance both, um, <gasps> excuse me, both YouTube and, and, uh, both videos and streaming here has been kind of tough, so. Um, I really appreciate you guys turning out, though, and uh, supporting me on here and uh, having a good time. So uh, for those of you on Twitch, let's go ahead and send you over to... Uh, I'm going to send you to Savix. We're going to raid Savix. I'm sure he's playing Sod. Um, yeah, thank you, guys. You guys have a good night. You take care of yourselves and each other. Good day or night, where whatever it is, wherever you may be. And uh, I will most certainly see you for the next one. Alright, later guys. Take care. <laughs>